Hello and welcome to session number 77 of Outlander's Guide to Ladaria. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey, it's a new year. year. Hey. It's been so long. Uh, I haven't seen you guys in a year. Ah, there it is. We've gone five 2023. seconds. Someone had to say it. It's out of our system now. Yeah. Yeah, we're good now. Uh oh. So. Uh, some of us are sick, some of us are tired already, but we're all here for the and it's gonna be happy times. <laughs> some of times. us are European. Some of us <laughs> are European. Yeah, we didn't we, ask me any of those things, we, but will, we still know what's going on. <laughs> we will not say <laughs> any European. names. We will not name anyone. But some of us are from Europe. Oh. I'm buying myself some time because I forgot to turn off the ads on my stream. I'm sorry. Here we are. There we go. No interruptions during the indie. And done. So, uh, since it's been a while, because between uh, Christmas and New Year we skipped a few sessions, um, we need uh, we we urgently need to recap everything and know exactly where we left off. So uh, currently, it is Matt's turn to do a recap. I got you. You you do? Yeah. Wait, you do? Yeah. Well, oh. it's canonical, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, let's not let Matt do a recap. Uh, sure? I, it's my <laughs> turn. <laughs> I was I was thinking we could instead do like a group thing. Uh, and instead of just last session, we can put together everything that happened uh, in, in the cave in the last, like, three sessions. Uh, uh, and then everybody gets inspiration. How does that sound? Okay, if you insist. It's a little festive, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Uh, where's my music? <laughs> What? Why oh. <laughs> is it quiet? That works. <laughs> that does. My recap music what? is broken. <laughs> How did oh, this no. happen? Well, <laughs> um. <laughs> Ah, wah, 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 this is wah. fine. Uh, why don't you guys start talking and figure out what's wrong? If you want, I do have a video recap of last session. <gasps> do you actually? Yeah. What? <laughs> you know, me saying, go. hey, Matt, it's your time to do a recap was meant to, to have you be like, what? No, I wasn't ready. Not you to actually no, offer to do it. I have a video all ready to go. <gasps> <gasps> I'm scared. <laughs> do, do we just want to do that? I mean, we can go with this group recap and everyone gets inspiration. Oh, I, can I didn't think you had anything. What do you take me for? Oh. <laughs> Someone who just shows up and just consumes fun? <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're oh. doing the video or we're doing the yes. group thing? Yes, let's either. do the video. You have a video, I'll, video. I'd love to see the video. Okay, fantastic. <clears throat> Just give me a moment to actually open it on OBS and. Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> oh no, people Aww. are laughing already. <laughs> What's... Wait a second. <laughs> it's about two hours long and everyone talks really fast, but it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> movie night movie night fact, we can just skip the bits where there's just like the map because it's not a battle map so like we don't care but when we get this, like here yeah something's happening this is where we fall it looks so silly on my layout where now the UI is like doubled <laughs> yeah, so, yeah look how incredibly fast we are playing so we're on Beauty. an ice bridge uh Everyone was pondering what to do next. Uh, with the professor and Varian leading the charge, uh, naturally, uh, as the two people who would always be at the front of this group, uh, oh. moving presumably to the southwest. 
Amazing. Uh-huh. Uh, and in fact, here I have commentary notes, but they're uh, they're all text to speech. <laughs> you know my favorite part about this video. What? Okay, Sunny started screaming I... at the top of her lungs apparently, and then we all died. <laughs> <laughs> we all went to the afterlife and then the first Michelin man showed up and then we begin this episode of Ghostbusters what's your favorite part what's your favorite part Dennis wait for, for a while I thought this was not last session but the session before last session this video is from uh, I don't know <laughs> What's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a different angle? This is a good angle. Um, and then, and then, for, oh, check out this angle. And then, yeah, this is the cloud. this one. Yeah, this is a good angle. It's like an action angle. Where we're gonna see Chewbacca <laughs> when he shows up. This is this is definitely not the last one because this is the the clown fight, right? Yeah, the clown fight. Wait, I missed two sessions. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is the clown fight session. Uh, so I, sorry, I only had a video prepared for that one. <laughs> but anyways, the bridge ended, uh, and then we a bird happened, and, and, and then we went back to the final screen. Uh, a break happened for like a while, apparently. Wow. Uh, and then we're back on the bridge, and we're fighting the bird boss. Uh, but Pip is missing. And I recall I have written my notes that Pip is the bird on account of it being green. <laughs> And the bird is doing a jig. <laughs> the dancing hawk. Uh, but that's all I have for my recap. Um, maybe there's a couple other camera angles. Yeah, there's there where we are in the ice. Again. Um, more ice. Uh, then there was still ice. Um, this is when we were crossing the ice ocean. Uh, ice, but Brooke and Pip were offside doing stuff that we don't know about because we were. Uh, and then real big power close up uh, where we all looked away from the camera to shun them except for Tekka because he's really friendly uh, and then nothing happened that I know of <laughs> and then yeah uh, Kumbaya power circle then we all break into our group again and then uh, more ice more ice more ice uh, and then uh, oh th this is when a Michelin man showed up and got really deflated uh, and then he dunked himself into my prop bowl um, and the session ended yeah, that was oh. two sessions ago. This is <laughs> that's that's because I forgot to save the one that happened last uh, uh, time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so my okay, so oh, it's okay because so I'm, so I'm just getting the it, inspiration so. for that session, and then we're gonna do the group inspiration <laughs> for the next session. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying my notes were thorough. <laughs> Uh-huh. I missed you guys. <laughs> you can call this exasperation. <laughs> Been too long. Here you go. <laughs> Take it. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. I don't even know what to do now. This is... <laughs> we can still do the joint one. So. <laughs> I do want to know what we that. did on the ice for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> the somewhere between a bridge and Michelin Man, we were just on the ice and we broke apart, grouped up, broke apart, grouped up, and broke apart again. And I want to know why. <laughs> I think that's when we were lost. Everyone I mean, yeah. was just stealing you guys were from lost. each other I was fine. constantly. Yeah, everyone. Okay. Um, pro I to I to recap now <laughs> of like the whole. This is what I what I get for trying to mess with Matt. He 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 wins. He just messes back. <laughs> <clears throat> I told you, I'm not just here to consume fun. I'm here to provide it. Aww. In Aww. the form of headaches. Aww. <laughs> so, Misery's Womb. <laughs> from the, from the top. the name of the ice. Dubstep Cave. Dub, also known as Dubstep Cave. Um, the hmm. party 
walked in uh, into this cave to do what? It's a great Maybe? question. <laughs> <laughs> but this recap is going nowhere. It's <laughs> already. Fight right the werewolf. Fight the werewolf. Yay! Uh, have a stern okay. talking to with a witch. Mm-hmm. Lady. Get answers. Gather ingredients of both Save Pip's list and girl. Orm's list. Find a rock. Find mm -hmm. a rock. Save the cheerleader. <laughs> so, but, that's a very deep <laughs> reference. When we walked into this cave, uh, it turns out that a number of us, all of us except for the elves, fell asleep. But uh, at the time, we thought that we all woke up again and were walking along with our friends, Virian and uh, the other guy. <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> the father of your previous party member. <laughs> this is why we need a recap, but we're forgetting our friends. And uh, we traveled through uh, this gauntlet of uh, obstacles in our path, um, which were meant to slow us down, frustrate us, and overall just make us miserable. Uh, and it's later on that uh, Pip discovered through a dream with uh, Bramblesoot the witch. Although I don't think that we actually are supposed to know her name yet. Um, <laughs> we discovered that she feeds off of our misery. It's very delicious to her. And uh, this whole gauntlet um, making us miserable was her way of getting entertainment and enjoyment and sustenance. Um, but we had been traveling through this cave together for uh, many, many, many days, it felt like, for us, um, before we discovered that we'd been asleep the whole time, and a couple of us um, among us were imposters. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's my turn. Someone else go. I volunteer I Sid. Hi. Okay, sure. Um, so <laughs> at that realization, uh, there was a flashback, and then we figured out what actually happened with Virian and Aaron uh, at that time. Uh, and they met with the witch, and she was, you know, uh, talking all about her motivations uh, and uh, the little army of to toys and dolls that she has. And she essentially says... I'll give you a little bit of time and just make good use of that and uh, please despair a lot because I would love that. And then yeah. uh, I believe Varian Aaron was able to escape. Uh, so, uh, and what happened after that? I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. Now, now's oh, a yeah, good time for... Really... Yeah, yeah please. It's a good time for Jory uh, <laughs> to describe what... what... <clears throat> what exactly she, uh, she uh, Virion, and Aaron had been up to. Yeah, so after the rest of the party had fallen asleep and Virion and Aaron had been very... Um, <clears throat> sorry, my, I am... My, my internal thesaurus is broken today. Um, had been trying to defend their sleeping bodies from the, from the witch, but weren't able to do so. Um, they went through and basically were trying to figure out how to get to them. And after realizing that the cave seemed pretty empty for the most part. Um, so you have to forgive me, like my I guess my brain is off right now. But um it came to the conclusion that we had to since they were asleep, we had to get to where they were sleeping to be able to rescue them. Which, being elves, pose a uh, bit of a problem, seeing as elves do not sleep. Uh, so with a bit of trial and error, um, Virian managed to kind of cling to that feeling that she had gotten with Nui, with being yoinked into the dream world, and did so, and met a glowing white figure who seemed to surprised to see her. But while she was there, she was given a ring that <clears throat> allows her to uh, essentially dreamwalk now. So she was able to grab Arn and bring them into the dream world. All right. 
Ah, uh -huh. uh, Dennis. All it's right. you. It's a bit hazy on my memory, but I'm pretty sure that <coughs> the two groups end up meeting each other once they, once Vary and Aaron are in the dream world. And I don't know how, I don't remember how we, if we just walked till we found like the place of the witch. But either way, we end up facing the witch, <coughs> one of her toys. And our buddy the werewolf, who is <coughs> also undead now because he was killed by Pip from far away. And to make the game fight a bit fair, instead of all of us fighting the werewolf, the witch and her... I don't remember his name. The, the witch was not there. It was the Nefarianet and oh. Michelin Man over here that... Mm -hmm. Okay, here I, here I was the yeah, whole time. Bit of frost. That... Okay. Yeah, the the two um, Bitterfrost and Nefarianet who had been pretending to be Virian and Arryn, respectfully. Um, Wait, is, is Nefarianet lie, thought... the fan name of this character or is no. this canonical? Canonical. Love that. Um... I don't yeah, know why, but in my head, Nefarion was connected or being the witch, but I got that mixed up. Like, they're connected, but not her. The, the, uh, it's a bit of frost, <clears throat> is this big uh, Michelin Man snowman guy, yeah. and Nefarion it's a little teddy bear. Here's a Nefarion Arthur. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you can see our big battle arena right in the middle in front of us. <laughs> we face them head on, almost get killed. I'm pretty oh, sure you guys did very fine. close for Tekka. I think but, great. Yeah, once we finally beat the werewolf, Nefariat and Bitterstorm stopped the games because the goal was already reached. Well, right. Bitter Frost kept trying to beat you up, but uh, uh, upon a fire uh, a fireball from uh, the <clears throat> from your local wizard, uh, the the evil snowman was melted down into a puddle, uh, prompting Nefarinet to just put his arms in the in the air and uh, give up. Yeah. <clears throat> so, that is currently where you guys are at. You have just Wait. killed. Hmm? I have one large question. Please. What? What is? What is? What, what's going on here? What's? What's going on yeah. with this? This what is different. Something is different. has changed. So, um, <clears throat> when Aaron and Virion, after days of running endlessly through this cave, had utterly failed to locate the, their companions. Um, they sat down and considered their options and uh, um, real, realizing that perhaps there was a chance to contact you in the dream world. If only they could figure out how to sleep. Uh, they, they pondered upon this and Arin had, had, was, was frustrated that, uh, that elves just had this lim limitation that prevented the two of them from, from reaching you. And as uh, he eventually went to trance and Viren managed to reach towards uh, a, a place... Uh, to talk with someone, uh, to to be given an object, a ring that she's currently wearing. Uh, upon returning to uh, where she was, where she and Narin were, she was able to use the ring to drag herself and Arin into the dream world, where she looks like this. Huh. If you recall, um, the time before this, when the werewolf, uh, um, well, actually, oh, you missed that too, Matt, didn't you? Mm -hmm. um, I think so. But when uh, when the werewolf showed up, uh, also that one time, yeah, because because that was that was when you left for a while. <clears throat> uh, the werewolf showed up uh, uh, and attacked people, and he, and he had pretended to be Pontifex, and he had harmed Tekka. Uh, and uh, they battled him in the dream world. Um, and Virion was able to join the party and join the battle uh, with the help. At the time, you were accompanied by Nitaradu, uh, the the woman. The name, admittedly, right now escapes me. Um, Wait, right? But uh, 
uh, which one? Nui. Nui. Yes, thank you, Nui. Uh, and I, I just remembered uh, Vina, <laughs> not Nui, <laughs> the, the the moth. Um, she was able to drag Virion into into the world of dreams, despite her being an elf, and she looked like that. Like her equipment was bright white. Uh, uh, her uh, there were there were some differences, and uh, uh, this is uh, we have a mini now for that. <clears throat> cool, I like it. There Thank hasn't you. been like a, you know you met up with Virion and Orion, and then you chased after Nefarian and Bitterfrost, and you fought them and the werewolf. So there hasn't been a whole lot of like talking about this. Uh, so any questions you have are probably questions that Pontifex has. I don't know if his vision's good enough to see the difference that far away. <laughs> I mean, she's, like, literally glowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, like, you know. I mean. Fun effect isn't the type to notice that you cut your hair. <laughs> Comparison. Yeah, there you go. That's what that's the fun effect. Sees. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Same fish lady. Uh, you still look like a that... boat thief. <laughs> she's wearing heels now, so she's a little bit taller. She's True. fighting in them. Yeah. Combat heels. Uh huh. Combat heels. Power heels. Combat heels. What's next? Bikini armor. That's under the ropes. <laughs> that is my that, second that costume. Fish lady. <laughs> Be beach version. For better breathability. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Effect's gonna be in the combat kini, the plate <laughs> kini, so his skin can breathe more. <laughs> <laughs> and just disrobe like training weights. Goku scene. Suddenly Pontifex is very fast. Okay, so the body of the undead werewolf no longer moving uh, lies between uh, uh, Virion and Brook. Uh, for most of you, uh, this feels like a somewhat familiar sight. Uh, the white body uh, speckled with these red rubies. Uh, although even the rubies themselves seem to have wilted away somewhat. Uh, they have lost their luster at the base after they have darkened. Uh, and there he is. Of bitter frost, there is nothing but a puddle remaining and that also isn't moving. While the small doll down here is holding his hands up in the air, having given up. And uh, uh, you did. It was amazing. What would you like to do? You're done with the games? I'm done. I'm all done. No more games for me. Is he lying? <laughs> Roll an insight check. Eighteen. <clears throat> the smile on this doll has been built into its face. The Neferinet doesn't have a whole range of emotions to show, but... You see that the grin has lost the joy it had up until now? Uh, you have no reason to believe uh, uh, otherwise. It, it seems that he has finished playing. Take us to your mother. Are you sure that you want to speak with mom? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm, this is your last chance to turn back. I'm saying this as a friend of yours, who has gotten to know you so well in the last few days. She is, um... Not the easiest person to talk to. Uh, 
Pitbull just uh, start making his way down, um, passing by uh, his friends and uh, glances over at Virian. Um, looks a bit different, but will come down and just say, I'm not always the easiest to talk to either. But I know what she's like. Very well. Will you pick me up? Uh, what? I am a doll. I have small legs. If you're going to follow me around, it's going to take me so long to take you to her. Pick me up. Uh, mm. It is fine, Pip. I can do it. No, you not sure? you. No. Why not? <laughs> the fairy nut still has his arms in, in the air in that, you know, surrender pose. Uh, so, like, it would be the, the easiest thing to just pick him up right now. And you can see that he's obviously deciding whether to put down his arms uh, just to, like, pull away from you. I don't like you. Is that necessary? Well, yes. I am just a doll. I'm supposed to love my owner. Well, I am not your owner. This will not be an issue. And yeah, Tekka will just pick up the <laughs> part of that. <laughs> <laughs> You pick up this uh, this doll <clears throat> that uh, is in this like pretty awful state of disrepair. Uh, it feels like if you were to pull too hard on its limbs, you could tear them off. Uh, and you just you just toss it on your shoulder. Pepsi sees like it's it, it, his expression um, from behind your back, and uh, Neferinet seems unhappy with uh, uh, this result, but doesn't fight you, and just says, Okay, fine. This way, then. Right ahead. And yeah, Tekka will just give, like, a quick nod behind him, just to make sure the rest of the crew is following. I, I mean, mm. not, not for nothing, but most of you look like you could use a bit of a breather. I actually agree with that. Is there a rush to meet the witch? I guess not. Especially if she is hard to talk to. I mean, I I don't know much how much talking she's going. She was pretty clear that her intention was to um eat you. I'm pretty sure it was quite literal. No, it wasn't. She's already had her fill. She's been eating our misery for days. N no, she seemed pretty adamant that there was a lead up to something or other. I think this was just appetizer. Maybe. Wait. What? Really? Uh, oh, I mean, she... Okay, so when... Why don't we sit and talk for a little bit, uh... Patch ourselves up before we go on. Um. So, when we got into the cave, and you all very very quickly fell asleep. Uh, Arun and I could not wake you up. She, uh, she took your you and went elsewhere and said Arun and I had some amount of time to come find you if we could. If we could.
So, Vi- Vivian's right. She did in ma- indeed make it quite quite clear that we only had so much time to find you before you'd you'd be gone. So we are in a hurry. We're we're asleep, right? Yes, I mean, as best as I can tell. So, so don't we just need to wake up? I mean, how do we, how how do we do that? You're asking the wrong person. You won't Uh, be able to wake up. Bitty Bitty and I meant it when we said it. Because it's not just any normal sleep. As long as mom has you, you will not wake up. So, we need to meet her in the dream world. Is that what you mean? Draw your own conclusions. I don't know if I can do it again. I'm pretty sure I got... Art and I here. Going backwards can't be too much harder, right? Right? Arn gives a, a shrug. <sighs> I mean, you've done it once. That means at least it's not impossible, right? I mean, so up, up I- until about not long before we ran into you again here. I thought it was. Well, things changed. So, if we're really about to be eaten, what is our plan then? Especially if she's not that talkative. I can get in touch with her. But we gotta rest a bit first. I don't think I can do it right now. Do you think we have an hour? I mean, I honestly cannot say, but just looking at some of you, you're not in fighting shape right now. As long as we are in the witch's domain, will she even allow us to rest? Was that not her entire ploy? I don't get it. The game should be over. Pip just shouts out into the open space. I thought we had a deal! Within the cave, your voice echoes and echoes and echoes. And then you hear a whisper. Only you, Pip. This whisper doesn't echo throughout the cave. It just echoes inside of your skull. And uh, the voice that you recognize just says come and find me it just sits on the ledge rests his head on his hands we should rest just enough to Catch our breaths. Bandage yourselves up. Fine. So, Virian, can you control it now? And he, like, nods to your glowing shield. I think Virian just kind of realizes she's still holding her shield, and she goes to, like, shoulder it like she normally would, and it just kind of vanishes. Mm-hmm. 
you, you know what? I'm not entirely sure. It seemed... I'd have to try it again. Going back. Coming back. I can't explain to you how I did it, just that I did it. It was a fortunate moment that you did. That I am grateful. I'm sorry it took so long. Once we're out of here, Arin says, and we have some time, you have to tell me everything about how you did it or what you think you did. Why you've, you know, any vaguely gestures just at all of you, changed. <clears throat> this is obviously different for you than it is for me, but when I do it, it's, it's temporary and I don't look any different. Honestly, for this, she sort of just like gestures to all of her. I can't tell you. This is. It happened once before when. Uh, last time we fought the wolf. I don't know why. I just assumed it was. Honestly, I assumed it was Nui's doing last time, but. Nui's not here now. I'll think on it, try to get my thoughts organized. Yeah, right. T take your time, and whenever you feel ready, we, we can speak of it. I'd like to write down your discovery. Professor, you've been quiet, but isn't this exciting? I am thinking. Sorry? Do, do we know at what point this accord the, when we when we were ch changed from uh, awake to not it was almost immediate yes right after we entered the cave you all began to to lose consciousness we we tried to keep you awake but there was nothing we could do do we know how it was done and or how to prevent it from happening again. Because if this occurred to all of us, except for those of you who, for whatever reason, aren't able to dream, it would seem we are somewhat at the mercy of this witch. This very powerful magic which cannot be resisted or at least not felt. I initially, uh, when this happened, we... We noticed a crystal on the ceiling, and uh, Virion and I moved in to destroy it. it. We thought that was the source, but it didn't seem to do anything. Perhaps it was meant to merely waste our time while the actual source maintained its uh, effect on you. I'm or afraid... perhaps it functions similar to my uh, projection. Maybe it is a, a method for which the, the witch can deliver her spells. Maybe each of these crystals is something to be wary of. I don't know. But I do feel like we may be a bit out of our depth. At least as far as magic is concerned. I am no wizard, but your hypothesis sounds uh, good to me. And that should mean that uh, this magic has a range. The fact that we stepped into her dominion certainly had uh, uh, an effect. Once we're out of here, far from the mountain, we should be good. Are we simply leaving? Are you... And then Arin just scoots a little bit closer and whispers, Are you planning on killing her? I'm planning on doing what Pip believes needs to be done. I'm here for Pip. Arin looks over at Pip. Pip 
Pip hear any of that? You said that he whispered. Uh, the whisper? Yeah. Wa- the only would, part you know, uh, where... Mumbled it, but... Okay. Then Ari looks, uh, looks over at Pip and um, glances around it and says, Pip, what is our plan here? We can't... We can't hurt her. Granny wouldn't like that. What if she hurts us? She won't. She has. Unless none of this is real, because that hurt. I know, but... Even if she doesn't intend to hurt you physically, all of this... She's hurting you otherwise. I can hurt her psychically if that is an acceptable alternative. No, no. I well, then I don't know what to do. But whatever decision you make, I will go along with it. I think, I think we just need to. I think we just need to try and sleep again. And then are we leaving the cave, or are we pursuing this witch? I need to talk to her. And that is what we do. Right? Yeah. Not going to leave people alone. <laughs> no. Are you sure we have time to sleep? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. All right. We try to rest for an hour then. What kind of rest um, are you aiming question. for? Yes. Um, Virian is, I mean, she looks different or whatever, but she has a ring or something. Is it a ring or, or, or the necklace or something that's letting this dream work? Would you like to describe it, Jory? Yeah, so, well, she has two new things. Um, she has the necklace that has been, she's been wearing it for a while, but the new thing is she's wearing a ring that looks impossibly white. It's not glowing but it doesn't cast a shadow it doesn't have it's hard to tell like where it curves just because it's so immaculately white unrendered unrendered yeah essentially i didn't have time to to apply a texture like i guess is it is it like clearly magic i guess my question is is this something that the, the professor would notice and ask about or is she entirely too different and it would just be part of the outfit does it stand out I think it would stand out just because it's so like even like the parts that are like glowing are like glowing. This is just white. Okay, then Virian, I suppose part of this new getup of yours has to do with how you are here. Um Yeah, um and I think she would just hold up her hand where that ring is. I was given this. It seemed to be the last or one of the pieces that I needed. It was very much just trying to cling to that feeling of being pulled from one place to another and I did it. But this ring exists outside of this dream place. It does. Then when we are out and when we have a time, I would like to go over it with you. Of course. I may be able to extract or glean some sort of spell from it and perhaps be able to extend this ring's ability to others. I mean, I was able to... I took Arn with me. Might be able to take the rest of you. I can't make any promises, but understand whatever it is. If it is a magic item, 
I have ways to learn spells from it. We will see if it is. If maybe there are conditions or things that are not understood at first glance. Something to think about. I... So I get the feeling... It doesn't feel... Like a spell, I suppose. I've never been much inclined to magic. But I feel like I could. Like, it's not... It didn't seem any harder to take Arn with me than just myself. If that makes sense. Maybe it is divine. In which case, I am also your man. In any case, it warrants further research. When we have the time, of course. Of course. That is all. Otherwise, I say we follow Pip's lead. And what about this, uh... Gremlin? Is Tekka just, like, hold, holding it, <laughs> holding the fern at the whole time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably just, like, keep checks on him, right? Yeah, just to make sure, like, Nefarianet doesn't get up to anything, because, like, Tekka didn't do that inside check, has no clue. It is just on your shoulder? Yeah, probably. Yeah, honestly. Okay. Like, the same um, way he would have held, held Ollie, like, over his shoulder. Yeah, question, <laughs> is Ollie here? Yeah. Okay. Like, for good. most of it, like, Ollie is just in Tekka's bag. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, he's in this dream world with us. She, the witch took the time to send Ollie with us as well. <laughs> I respect that. Animals can feel despair. Ollie's significant. <laughs> Animals can feel despair. Ev <laughs> Everyone made the cut except for Squeak. <laughs> Cats can inflict it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nifernet has made no efforts to like wriggle out of your grasp. Uh, mainly, he he's just been turning around in order to like watch all of you. Uh, Papas made his way back here, and uh, he can just feel the stare. <laughs> just a little it's like very uncomfortable. doll eyes. <laughs> yeah, the plastic buttons. Some plastic wood. Uh, Pip is going to look through the hilt of his dagger up towards the sky, see what yeah. time of day it is. Uh, currently, it's about noon. <sighs> I can get into contact with the witch, but it has to be at night time, so we might as well rest as much as we can. I think everybody should try and get some sleep. We can take turns watching Nefarianet. I do enjoy attention. I don't know if the same rules apply here, if I need to sleep or not. I suppose we'll see. A uh, Pip and mm -hmm. uh, 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 Tekka uh, uh, and mm -hmm. uh, Sunny is also like right here. Uh, you all jump when you hear another voice just immediately like behind you, next to you. Uh, but uh, as you like all turn, you realize that this voice is coming out of Nefarianet, but it doesn't sound like him at all. Uh, Pip, Ooh. you recognize the voice uh, as the, the witch calls out to you and says, And why exactly are you keeping me waiting? Come, I'm not so far. Nefarian mm. massages his mouth. I don't like when she does that. <laughs> Fine. Let's get this over with. Uh, yeah, Tekka shuffles up, like, 
holding the fairy net, following Fifth. Absolutely. Before we go, Viren just kind of looks over to Brooke, who took a hell of a beating. And she's like, are you, are you sure you don't need a minute? Um, and she sort of reaches out, and there's a bit of a light that seems to surprise her, and I will use her healing light to heal Brooke a little bit. Oh. Can you show me my is. HP again, Windsor? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Dennis? <laughs> Can you show me my HP again? Ah, yes. <laughs> I just I just hid them from you. You heal for four. Thank you. Yeah. And she kind of like looks at her hand like she was not expecting that to happen. Well, I would rather. I'm not going to lie. To be better prepared, I would rather have a rest, but... It sounds like we're not going to be allowed one. Exactly. But I appreciate it. It already feels uh. better. Right, um, we should catch up. Yeah. And he walks, he nods and then walks off towards Sunny and then goes together. Be full of tricks, Virion. Yeah, that was, um, that was new. Honestly, the, the light thing was new too. I, not really sure how I did that. Um, Aaron puts a hand on your shoulder and just smiles, and he, he's he's not like the he struggles a little bit with finding the right words. He's not much of a people person, and his smile feels forced, and not in a way where he doesn't mean it, but more like he's just not very good at this. Um, and he says, "I'm just glad you were with us." Had it just been me, I... Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. And then uh, you follow after Pip. Let's go. Neferionet will use his foot to kind of point the Tekka forward. Um get him to turn right uh, at some point, turn left uh, at another turn. Um, uh, the, the, sorry, just checking something. Oh, all good. Can't get the moss, uh, that's my game. What did he say? He said you can't get the moss, that's my game. Ah, yes. No, mm -hmm. that's you. Uh, and that game is over. Mm-hmm. Uh, until eventually you begin to feel that temperature is rising. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, the, the, the floor is no longer entirely encrusted in ice, um, but it still feels like the temperatures are ex extremely low nonetheless. And you enter an area that uh, feels familiar. You've seen a room like this before. You've seen a, an altar littered with uh, doll parts and sewing needles and threads and stuff in cotton. You've seen dolls uh, uh, held dangling from the ceiling like marionettes. And you've seen uh, a floor covered in uh, bits of broken porcelain dolls. Um, shelves filled with toys. A crib in a corner. A music box playing a lullaby. The uh, details are different. The kinds of toys that you see lying around, or the um, the way that the the furniture is set up, is different. There isn't a cauldron in this particular area, but in this place there is a table. Um, <clears throat> there is a table that is adorned with a dirty uh, cloth, and uh, on top of it. Uh, there is colorful, small wooden pieces set uh, upon uh, a series of uh, paper boards. You see a woman bent forward, old, with grayish cracked skin and incredibly messy hair, gesturing at the table, smiling and saying, Shall we play a game? I think we've played enough of those, haven't we? 
Her smile falters a little bit as she says, but I just finished setting it up. It frowns and looks back to the others. He steps forward and gets a bit closer. What kind of game? The rules are quite simple. She seems to immediately perk up, perk up again, uh, and she gestures at a piece and says, This one is about growing a flower garden. There's cards and dice. We can go over the rules in ten minutes. You'll learn very quickly. What are the stakes? Is this just for fun? What else are games for? Well, your last game was about misery. Um, she gestures towards one of the chairs and says, This one is for fun. Promise. Can I inside check? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe she's honest. Who knows? Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Nice. That is a natural 20. Okay. Uh, for all of you, minus uh, uh, Pip uh, and the elves. This is the, your first time seeing her. Um, and Brooke, you are absolutely completely cautious. Uh, you don't want to like just walk in here and, 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 and die, uh, which apparently you guys almost did, uh, according to, to, uh, to Arian and Virion. Uh, so you yeah. scrutinize that expression. This old lady, um, you... It, it, it actually almost took you a little bit to 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 um, confirm that she is from Ladaria because her vox they're they're so small uh, almost like they have shriveled up uh, that it took you a moment to see them uh, most of them are hidden from by her hair that just falls over her face and she refuses to to set it aside and she uh, you you smell the bad smell when you walked into the room and like as you get a bit closer you realize that comes from her. This is a person who hasn't bathed in a very long time. Um, and taking in uh, the full appearance of this person and the way she moves and acts and talks uh, is almost painful to a degree. Uh, but at the very least, uh, and that may be a little consolation, but at the very least, she just seems excited to play another game. It's very childlike. Okay. Perk will probably keep a close eye on her whenever he can. Okay. How do we play? Uh, who goes to sit at the table? I think Tekka would, absolutely. More Virion's just to sitting. monitor what's going on. Tiberian's sitting this one out. Um, Sunny will sit down just in this uh, protective manner next to Pip uh, and just scooches her chair as close to him as he can and as she can, and she she drags her pieces uh, and her part of the board uh, like as close as possible to him too. Um. You can feel her every once in a while, like whenever she moves, she rubs against you a little bit, like as if she's afraid that if you're not within her reach, you could just be taken at any moment. Um, even when you're when you're sitting, she's just so much taller than you. But uh, in, right now, being in her shadow just feels very reassuring, Pip. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll sit down as well. Okay. 
That's everyone but Virion. Uh, and Arian. Let's have the elves. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> they've had their own adventure. They've had enough. Uh, okay. The witch goes over the rules. This is... um, uh, Pontifex, where Dragon Chess is a game entirely about skill. The, no luck involved whatsoever. This one has dice rolls. This one has card draw, random events. So you're, you're, you're supposed to build this garden of flowers and like the arrangement gives you points. And uh, But there's so many things out of control, like weather effects. Um, this is... Oh, <laughs> it's... This is a game for filthy casuals. <laughs> <laughs> and where, where the noble dragon chess... Uh, game it can last for months it just seems like it kind of would be done in maybe 30 minutes or 245 mm. uh, those of you who are oh yeah yes after hearing the rules i think virian is going to change her mind <laughs> <laughs> and, and take Wooten part there. yeah okay I feel like uh, Arin still wouldn't, but yes, Yuki can sit down. Yeah. Also, I think there's if there is an actual, I bet there is an actual board game out there. It's about building your own fl flower garden. I am not referencing it. I'm just. I, I really <laughs> thought you were going to pull up something. There is. It's called Flower Garden, and it's a gardening game. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> when Virian sits down at the table, she's going to very sneakily take something out of her bag. Her side of hand, her... Not a gun. <laughs> <laughs> she's deciding to win before we start. <laughs> Bring a gun to a flower move, fight. I draw. <laughs> I draw! Uh, rule a slot event against everyone's uh, passive perception. I think I'm gonna to, uh, use an inspiration on that one. Okay. This is the mm -hmm. kind of role that did not happen while you were playing as Nefarian at. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not much better. 16? Still 16. Um, so compared to at least, uh, that matches mm -hmm. uh, Brook's uh, passive. Yeah, so... I think Brooke would notice that she takes a a six-sided die out of her bag and she sort of just like palms it. And okay, I was just checking for on the witch. Give me that. I'll try to not react to it. May I have a per a performance check from Brooke? Yes, oh. I was I was hoping. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> then he's looking at his own card or sheet. <laughs> oh. I am just using also an inspiration that is on that. <laughs> 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 uh, Most important roll of the session, the, right? You rolled a 13. Minus 2. This is still a 13. Again. Perfectly balanced. Yoink. I'm Can trying I... really hard. Can I use another <laughs> inspiration? <laughs> Do you want to? Sure. Oh I Are you sure? will not stop you. Yeah. Okay. I cannot know about the other die. Everything hinges on this. <laughs> it's another 13. Oh, no. All right. We take a 15. It's a 15 total. It's not gonna be Yoink. enough. I'm so sorry. Meanwhile, the witch like already saw very into it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, what? Here's what I will tell oh. you. Um, so, Virion, as far as you know, nobody saw you do this. You mm -hmm. just, uh, uh, you reach into your bag. You feel like your movement was natural. Uh, you're a little nervous because this is the person who took your companions and has talked about eating them alive. Um, yes. So obviously you're 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 tense. 
Uh, but you're looking around at everything, you didn't see anyone react, and the brook, you stood perfectly still, noticing, like, th there was that moment within you where you still thought, oh god, Virion is not Virion, uh, she's planning something. <laughs> you, you've been keeping an eye on her ever since you, you met back up, but, um, and, like, there's that split second where your instinct is something is about to happen, and then you, like, calm down, and you just take a deep breath, and, you, like, you look away, and you trust uh, in whatever Virion is doing. Uh, and you think you did a, a good job of not overreacting at the, uh, what you just noticed. Uh, the rules are explained to you. Uh, <laughs> it is, is indeed a very... Uh, for Pontifex standard, this is an incredibly simple game. Just child's play. Um, and not, not, not only is it simple, but like the fact that it's so like based, it's just so beneath you. This um, game is so base and beneath me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for for funsies, everybody who is participating can roll a. Um, you can roll a straight uh, intelligence check. Oh. Does Virian get a bonus on yeah. for cheating? <laughs> so, uh, Virian, yes. I say you. You know what she swapped it with? Or did you forget again? Me? Because as, as soon as Virian gets the dice in her hand, she is again going to try to swap out, assuming there's six sided dice for her charlatan's die. I I figured that that was what, it, what I was yeah. doing. Yep, yep. Uh, and you yeah, can so... just go with the. Like, you, you don't need another roll um, mm -hmm. to, to swap them around. Uh, I, I'm just taking your, your previous one. Um. <laughs> Was also for sunny. Truly a yeah. child's play. <laughs> and remind me, that die, it allows you to just roll whatever you want? Yep. Okay. You don't have to roll uh, in that case, okay. uh, your intelligence. So. <laughs> oh, Sunny. <laughs> During the game, Sunny just has like everything go wrong for her. Not only did she like clearly not understand the rules, and she's more concerned with keeping Pip safe than actually playing the game right. Um, she's also not enjoying it. She's distracted all the time. Uh, <laughs> and also all that I said against her. This is just... It's so... It's so sad. Ip is distracted the whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, but the the game itself doesn't just... Uh, uh, you're not just playing. Uh, the witch will be um, talking with you during the game while distributing cards and rolling the dice and uh, putting together her own little garden um, she she will addre address uh, uh, Pip uh, and she will say I have promised you all the answers you want so then your questions oh and a card and she draws a card for you and slides it over um Pip picks it up and looks at it. Uh, this is... Uh, it, the card represents a single aster. Yeah. <laughs> Pip um, stares at it for a moment. And um, you can't tell if it's from the chill of the cave or from Pip's nerves, but... You can see he starts to shiver a little bit before he looks back up to Bramble Soot and says, What does it mean? Why did she call me that? The witch rolls her rag is uh, not necessarily at you, but there is definitely some like old frustration um, that she makes little effort to hide. Uh, and she says, My sister, whom you call Granny, has she ever told you that it was a time when she was in love? No. It's difficult to believe, isn't it? It was a long time ago. She and her wife were looking to adopt, and they found this kid. 
And this was long before I met her. But still, no matter how many years have passed, she just would not shut up about him. I'm sick and tired of hearing about him. Your turn. She pushes over a set of dice. Pip uh, takes them in one hand and rolls them and plants his aster in a plot of soil. Um, so is this like worth points or something? I... Yes, well, it depends on what you plant around it. So why me? Why I'm, you? I'm not that kid. Right? No, uh, you are not. What kind of question is this? It passes the dice to Sonny on on his left. And says, Sonny fumbles with them, drops them under the table, goes <laughs> shit, and goes pick them up. I, I'm not stupid, you know. I, I know that I've been different from everyone else since I've been born. I. I don't know why, uh, you know, I can see in the dark when the other kids couldn't. I don't know why when my hair gets caught on a brush and it, it gets snagged and uh, I don't know how it can grow back overnight. I don't know how I can talk to animals. No one taught me that. I just could do that before Granny. Why? What makes me so special? While Sunny is climbing back on her chair and fumbling with with her roll and planting the flowers in the wrong type of soil and just passes the turn on to the next person, uh, on to Pontifex, who does like the opposite. Perfect gameplay. Uh, you just heard about this game and you're nailing it, except the dice aren't quite in your favor and it's frustrating that like you can play it perfectly and still not be quite as good at the game. Um, and... Uh, well, well, that's going on. Pip, the witch, laughs with just this amusement that's really grating right now for you. And she says, "You think you're special? What you're describing, there's nothing strange about it. You're different, you see. From who? From." Humans. Isn't that what I am? Who cares what you are? What matters is where you are. This is Lidaria. These are our rules. Much like the moment you stepped inside of my cave, you have submitted, submitted to my rules. You're not so different from my people. You're not special. You're Lidarian. I don't... I don't understand. I... I I'm... My... My parents were from Barumia. I don't... We don't have Vox. Like you, we don't... What do you mean? I'm not... You all put so much worth into your bloodlines. The bonds between people, they're not passed through the blood. 
It's through connections. You're one of us. Always have been. Are you disappointed? That you're not special? That you're not unique? You're quite common. I grew up just like you. I'm not like you. No. No, I... I... My... My parents... They... They did something. They... They made somebody... Angry. They got taken away from me. I know then, nothing of your parents, except what I can imagine. Your disgusting granny, she has a, a thing for boys like you. She always seeks the, the lonely, the strays, when she don't have anyone else. Don't call me that. Don't you call me that? The dice eventually turn back, uh, um, they return to her hand and she begins to shake them and tosses them and looking at the situation on the board, uh, um, despite uh, uh, Pontifex playing like an immaculate game, um, Thus far, Virion is uh, in a, in the lead, um, and it, merely because the dice seem to really favor her. Um, for uh, Pape isn't really paying that much attention to the game, but he can see whenever the witch Bramble suit is uh, uh, tuning out what he's saying and looking at the at the board instead. And you can see that like she's trying her best, but uh, currently she's in third, fourth place. <clears throat> She takes her time to shuffle the cards and plant her flowers and pass the dice uh, ev eventually back to Pip. And she says, Call yourself whatever you want. Think of yourself as special if that's what you want. I can only tell you what I know of my sister. Whatever she's up to, she doesn't often share it. In fact, as of lately, she's been even less forthcoming with her projects than usual. Most of the time, she gathers her little children and she is happy to, to live her little life with her little made-up family on her little peninsula. But this is the first time she has sent one of them around, collecting ingredients. You know, we keep in touch, we meet regularly, the three of us. And that's during those meetings when we exchange materials. Whenever we're working on something, we involve the others. They can gather things that I can't, and I give them what they can't get. She has been awfully quiet as of lately. Sending you around on your errands instead. What is she working on? I don't know. What does she have you gather for her? It just seems like a lot of random stuff. What stuff? Sticks? Stones? Sticks. What kinds of sticks? From the material matters, Pip. 
What kind of sticks? From the highest boughs. Stones from above the clouds. Why does it matter? I want to know what she's making. What would you give me if I told you? Would you tell me what happened to Aster? <laughs> yes, I can do that. That's not all I want. Ugh, what else? Is this game not enough? This game is boring as hell. <laughs> At this point, the professor is like leaned forward, like chin in his hand, just like hyper analyzing every possible route. He's like, he's you've been counting cards. Luck is a major part of this, but yeah, he's like, he's he's taking as much luck out of the equation as he can manage, and he's trying to play dragon chess with this game. Uh, playing dragon chess yeah. with everyone else is playing Candyland. Right. <laughs> he, is, he is overly engrossed in this, and it's entirely zoning out all of this critical information. <laughs> that was happening. How the how game does, matters? How does Deca play? So, um, yeah, I think you keep hearing like Tekka arguing when it's his turn because he fundamentally like disagrees about like competitive gardening. It's just like <laughs> gardening is about the community. It is the result of everyone's efforts, and he's like giving his tiles away to Brooke, like to complete his pattern. <laughs> yeah, because there is a certain way. This game uh, wants you to plant certain flowers in certain soil and make certain arrangements for more points. Uh, and you can see that if only you just shared the damn tiles so that people with the best soil would get the flowers that are perfect for them, the flowers would be the happiest. And it's so absurd that you can't trade, that you're competing with one another. <laughs> I'm not, not to playing mention. to make the flowers happy, I'm playing to make my garden better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have not the to, best garden. Not I don't to mention. Care if they're happy. <laughs> The game is very, like, dumbed down in that regard, and you can tell that some of its rules, like certain flowers thriving in certain soils, is just straight up incorrect. You know better! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so that, yeah, that's why Tech is doing so bad, because he's actually, like, doing it after his, his like, knowledge, mm -hmm. not after the game's rules. Oh my god, yeah, that's great. <laughs> uh, Brooke, you're doing pretty well just because Tech is giving you all of his best flowers. <laughs> Brooke also takes all the places, maybe a chance to finally beat the professor, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Taika, you have this doll whispering in your ear, the, the correct the, the correct <laughs> moves, and you're just straight up ignoring him. Yep, yep. <laughs> just like in Taika's lab, like trying to reach the tile and put it in place, but yeah, Taika is just not letting him. <laughs> this, this is all going on. Uh, Viri, you're just coasting on your on your perfect rules. Uh, <laughs> too perfect. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and Sunny has entirely lost interest. She's just keeping her turns at this point. Her flowers are all wilting. It's it's a sad mess. Uh, and Pip, you're just watching Bremble Suit's expression, just being like genuinely hurt. Uh, like, she tries to hide it, but she's awful at it. Um, and she she gestures at your head and just and says, Just roll your dice. What else do you want, then? Pip just tosses the dice halfway across the board and looks away and lets other people resolve the turn for him. What did you say? I really... Uh, what? <laughs> Austin, Austin didn't hear it. <laughs> what else do you want? You know what I want from you? The answers that I seek. And you want to hear about what happened to, to this precious aster. But you said uh, that's not enough. What else? 
I want you to let us all out of here safely. Ugh. Yes, you can all get out of here safely. Even Squeak. You can't eat him. Oh, Squeak is... Bip. Squeak is gone. What? What do you mean? Back where he comes from. The beach. Oh. Well, why can I talk through this thing? It's a gift. I made it just for you. You can keep it if you want. Uh, okay. Um, also, I want, I want you to not tell Granny anything that we talked about. She nods. And if you have any of these ingredients that I tell you that I need, I want you to give them to me. <laughs> we raised him so well. <laughs> that yes, we, I cannot promise. You might ask me for something that I cannot part from. Um, probably Shut not the things I need right now that, I mean, I, I feel like if you couldn't part from them, that would be a little weird. It's not like, like a, a witch's heart or anything like that. Isn't it? Because no, shall there was I remind another heart. you? <laughs> <laughs> My sister has made an effort to hide these, this project of hers from the two of us. I have a sneaking suspicion. Ah, never mind that. If you don't think I own such items, then I will consider parting from them. And Some things lastly, are more value than you know, though. Once I do tell you, I want you to tell me any... any... any ideas you have about what it might mean. We have ourselves a deal, Pip. It, uh, Pip replants his aster in a in different soil and tells her every item on every list he's received. Does he read the the lists or does he describe the items in his own words? He'll he'll read from the list. Okay, he he would say the Bramble Suit is like upset at the rhymes. She she seems to really dislike <laughs> them. Um, but her eyes just narrow. She's committing every syllable to memory. She taps her fingers on the table. When her turn com comes back to her, usually she would be right on it, immediately start rolling her dice and planting her, f her flowers, but she doesn't notice uh, this time around. And it takes her, like, a whole minute uh, and, uh, before she finally resumes the game and goes on with her turn and then hands you the dice. And she, sa and she says, Thank you for sharing that information with me. As for what I make of it, I'm afraid that's nothing. Yet, for now, I need to look into my books. Is there more? Any ingredients missing? This last list, I'm still lacking a couple. Ooze from depths profound, a slimy substance darkly crowned, and 
sulfurous fiery might, a scent of brimstone strong and bright. I found these like fireflies, these uh, ember glow wisps. I think that'll work for the second one, the, the life that softly gleams. Phosphorescence in midnight dreams? Oh, don't ask me. Had it been me, I would have just told you where to go and what to get. Oh my... Why... Why couldn't I have had you? <laughs> I... am not seeking a princess. But Night Lurk, she's always... Uh, she says what? there is... My sister says that there Night is Lurk? a power. Do you not know your granny's name? She said it was Nyla. A softer name. A less scary one. We're all named after things. As are you. Huh? At this moment, the dice are in your hand. You look down at them, they both have just the number one on top. Just a single dot. Um, yeah. Pip rolls them and draws another flower card and... He plants it next to his aster, getting a plus two adjacency bonus. <laughs> Point passes the turn to Sunny. <laughs> Pontifex notices that this wasn't like the the perfect move. It, it would have been better to, to yeah, it would have been better to do the suboptimal thing now, but it would have paid off more later. You're like ten moves ahead, Pontifex. You tap your lands too frivolously. <laughs> <laughs> I play pot of greed. It allows me to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it do. Oh god. That's where you're wrong, Pip. My grandfather's pathetic deck has no cards. <laughs> <laughs> and he just throws his hands in the air in exasperation. Your no. moves have given me an aneurysm. <laughs> anyway. Bramblesuit asks, will there be more lists after this one? Yeah, two more. Then I don't have all the pieces of the puzzle yet. But I might be able to figure something out. You can what speak to, to me Aster? in your dreams. Ugh. Aster, Aster, Aster. You sound just like her. I need to know. It's been centuries. What do you think happened? Centuries? He died. Wait, how How old is she? Ugh. How am I supposed to know? She always Older than gives him? a different number. <laughs> is he point <laughs> pointing at Pontifex? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's old. Oh, Not yeah, as old older as her, than her, and then Pontifex then points at <laughs> Virian. Wait, older old. than her. Too. Older than her? Oh. After all these centuries and after all these children, she's still talking about him. How many. How many were before me? How am I supposed to know? I'm not keeping track. Dozens? I'm she really keeps not just special, am I? scooping them up whenever she finds them. I know she makes it sound so nice. Like she's helping them out. They have no one else but her. And then they grow up and she gets tired of them. They no longer remind her of her favorite one. And she sets them free. Like a puppy who is no longer cute. Uh, 
I suppose that's good news for you, isn't it? Eventually, she will lose in your leash. just quietly sits there at the table, his eyes just sort of staring at the middle of the board. The final turn comes and passes. Viren's luck has carried her all the way to victory, with Pontifex just barely behind. Uh, and Bremble suit herself, uh, uh, counting up the points, and not. Uh, she she seems to also have lost interest in the game towards the second half, and uh, doesn't seem to particularly care that uh, she hasn't won. Uh, Sunny doesn't counter points. Uh, uh, Pip, you really just have this aster in the middle of your garden, surrounded by other flowers, so you plant it eventually. Uh, and just looking down at it. The witch stands up, and um, when she stretches, you just hear all these cracks and pops. She moves over to one shelf, begins to... Uh, she... Uh, so she pulls a lot of things from from it, mainly toys and some and some books, and everything that she removes, she just tosses on the on the floor. And the mess only increases from here. Uh, until eventually she has found a couple and of, of books that she seems interested in. And uh, she makes her way to that little uh, altar desk. Uh, and she sits there and flips through the pages. She kind of just doesn't really address you guys. Um, with a game over... Uh, those of you who were particularly into it can now bring your focus back to, to the situation. You can see that Pip seems d distraught. Uh, Pontifex, you figure it's because he has absolutely fucked up his garden. Uh, <laughs> Tekka, you, you kept trying to, to sneak some good flowers towards Pip and he kept not playing them. Don't worry, Pip. I understand. I am also distraught. I had a good time. <laughs> you had the good luck. Is you far in life? Um, Virion does like lower her voice, and I don't think this was about this game. I think she's still playing her game, if you understand. Well, I beat her in the game, so <laughs> it was all about the game. It is always about the game, Virion. <laughs> Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Moderation yeah, is for cowards. You still came a second, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think your focus is on the wrong game right now. I am playing the long game. <laughs> you may have won the battle, but you have not won the war. Both thief. Play We've now devolved back to a previous <laughs> name. Pip, do you believe her answers? Yeah, I do. She would have no reason to play you yet again. That's the part that really stings, you know, Tech. I, I feel like this stranger has been more honest than me with my granny. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I'm still on a leash. I'm 
just her pet. Sad little puppy who whined at her doorstep. Now she's making me do tricks. But it is a leash that she will not tighten further. She said as much. As long as I do everything she asks. And what if you don't? What if you stop now? Confront her. Be different from those children that didn't know this. It removes his scarf and holds it tight to his his face and wipes some of the tears that had been rolling down his cheeks. And he looks at Tekka and shakes his head and says, she can always tighten it more, Tekka, till I stop breathing. I need this thing off of me before we can confront her. So what now? Are we just to go? What was your name? Which, which lady? She doesn't even lift her eyes from the book and says, Bramblesuit. Bramblesuit. Really? Yeah. Night Lurk has never mentioned me? No. She didn't mention Brinewell either. That stings. A little bit. Yeah, my rat knew more about you all than I did. Rats know more than you give them credit for. Do you have any of those things that I need? I'll give you more information if you... if you help me. We'll... we'll keep in touch through dreams. She closes the book that she was looking at and slams it shut. Looks up at the ceiling and sighs and says, I have sulfur. That's, that's great. I did promise I would help in exchange for my information, but I am concerned you should think carefully Pip about whether you actually want to complete this task for now though I gave my word and she stands up from her desk and walks into a different room wait wait Pip will run after yeah. did you want the ingredient or not I want to know, could this be undone without finishing these lists? Does Granny have to be the one to do it? Your news. Hypnots.
roll an insight check. Twelve. The expression uh, that she wears while uh, looking, just returning your stare, then momentarily looking down at your neck, the rope, and then back at you, is perfectly cold, just stone face. If I can't do it, then surely nobody can. Then I don't have a choice. I have to finish the lists. You do have a choice. I don't understand. I can't just... Die? I'm not gonna be her... Is that what you were going to say? No, it wasn't, but... Life is miserable, child. Full of despair and tragedies. I love that about it. But I hear that most people don't. Shall I get your ingredient? Yeah. She steps away. You guys are left alone, right in the middle of Bramble Suit's lair. The game is still arranged on the table. Uh, the entire area is just a mess. What would you all like to do? As soon as Bramblesoot and Pip walked away, Avian takes her dice back. Um, mm -hmm. Not trying to hide it anymore, she just like pockets the her, her dice. Um, and then she sort of leans into everyone and says, I don't think... I think she's, she's just trying to make Pip miserable still. Um, and she's doing a great job at it. I don't know what we can do, if we can do anything, but right now we're still... We're playing her game in her home. So when are we going to sleep? We're sleeping now. When are, I, when are we going to sleep to unsleep? I'm getting very sleepy. I... I can try to wake up. I can try to take you with me. I don't know how it's going to work. No, we should do that before she figures out how to actually make him miserable like the rest of us. We've been doing it for like a long time. Way worse. Why would you be doing that? I don't know. It just comes and goes. That's terrible. Who would do something like that? We don't do it on purpose. It just happens. <laughs> like, like me losing the gardening game. It wasn't on purpose. It just happened, and I'm miserable for it. And you did it. Uh, maybe you should get better at the game. But right, um, so maybe Peep should get better at dealing with us. <laughs> I can leave you here. What? What? No, you need me. I... Okay, I can... Say it. No. We'll come back to this later. We'll put a pin in this conversation. Uh, I can see if I can... I don't know. Go back... Quickly? I don't... See what it's like. If it's safe. If it's anything. Be back before she's back. I, I think it was pretty quick. But sorry, we all just passed out on the floor. You were when last I saw you. So, so are you? Uh, probably. Graceful. Look, it's the only thing I, I know she's... There's something that she's after, and it's not just this, I don't think. Call me suspicious. Suspicious. Well, while, while she's gone... 
I'm going to try to look, I think, at least. I'll hopefully be back. I hope. Wait, wait, you're going to leave the dream world and then go and, like, scout out the, the cave alone? And just leave us unattended on the floor? I mean, you're already unattended on the, on the floor. It, I don't want to be- still, It feels wrong. All of this feels wrong. I'm, I'm really not sure what I'm doing, honestly. Just think that it's like- Try to take one of us with you. I don't know, maybe someone who has a very strong understanding of magic. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe Aaron or maybe someone closer to your age. Brooke, you can already walk through dreams. Yeah, and I do have I think if maybe something goes... Maybe like the runner-up of a gardening game. <laughs> <laughs> I think if something goes amiss, Brooke would have the most chance of correcting course. Just keep in mind that when I do this, I can only do it for a short amount of time. Similar to Aaron. Maybe like one of us who can dispel high-level magic. <laughs> <laughs> you Professor, do you, want, do you want to come with me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, only if you insist. <laughs> it is up to you to make the best decision for the group. And it's not my fault that that would be the best decision. Tekka, would you be all right if we did that? And hopefully we'll be quick just to see what we can do, if we can do anything. I will stay here. That will be fine. We have been here for days already. Keep an eye on Pip, okay? I'm worried about him. Fine. The fairy net speaks up and says, So sh should I not tell mom about what you're planning? I could take you with me too if you want. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Pick me up. This one smells like wet dog. Pick me up. Pick me up. I think Vera kind of like looks to the rest of the party and was like, I can basically get this thing out of our hair right now. You're going to this bring this nightmare into the real world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... You're unleashing Unless... Freddy Krueger <laughs> upon the dark. <Daria. laughs> Unless somebody stops her. Do we have to take the ground? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay. I mean, I thought I was, I thought I was threatening it, but it seems to want it, so I don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, if I say that I don't want to come, will you take me? The ship has sailed already. Sorry. Well. <laughs> I guess it's too late to take it back. And, and he, he's just waving his little stubby arms uh, towards you. <laughs> oh, peace. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? Yeah, we'll take him. What? There's a, there's a non-zero chance he doesn't have yes. dream powers outside the dream world, you know? And, and if anything goes wrong, you will all incinerate for a greater cause. <laughs> I see no problems with this. Yeah. Nope. Should be great. Let's adopt this megalomaniacal <laughs> doll with the capacity to cast time stop twice per day. <laughs> what, if he, what if he uses it for us next time, you know? Virion, you pick up this terrifying doll from under the armpits and uh, uh, when Tekka was holding him, he just tossed him over his shoulders like a sack of potatoes, but when when you pick him up, he like hugs your neck and says, Hello, mommy. Let's not not do that. M Mom? N no, Mother? just no. Yeah. Well, uh, um, best friend. Virian's fine. Mm. 
Whatever you want, Virion. That's also weird. We can just forego names now. Just hey, you. <laughs> As you wish, you. I like this one. Um, yeah, so <laughs> we'll take the Nefarianet and Brooklyn Pontifex. And Virion will kind of fiddle with that ring a little awkwardly now because she has a uh, nightmare teddy bear clinging to her neck. <laughs> and so, like, trying to hold him a little bit. And... He's trying to hold himself, but in so doing, like, he's pulling all of his weight onto the back of your neck and it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, just. Can you just. I, I don't know. Just. On the shoulder a little more. Okay, that's okay, that, that's better. Up here. Okay. Okay. This is yes. like great, you great. have a Pikachu on your shoulder now. <laughs> this is fine. Um, and yeah, she'll. I don't know if she has to like touch hands, so she maybe will, like. What does she do? Up. Yeah, I think she'll just grab onto Brooke and Pontifex's hands, just sort of take them both at the same time and just takes a deep breath and she tries to grab onto that feeling again that being pulled from one state, one place to another and she's trying to get to where she is right now but in the waking world it feels like you are trying to move without taking a step and it feels wrong it feels impossible and because you're meeting that resistance, you you try to hold on to that feeling of shifting from one place to another, but you also do take a step to like give physicality to that movement. And as you do, uh, before everyone else's eyes, uh, she, Pontifex, Brooke, and the doll vanish. They move forward just a few inches, and uh, in just a few moments they fade out of existence while uh well you guys um you show up in a place very different from the area that you have just left uh this area of the cave is pretty dark uh but there is uh, multiple sources of very soft light here and there that literally dot the ground uh, the stone floor has multiple recesses in it. Uh, just it's it's concave here and there. Like there's holes in the floor that are filled with this greenish liquid, which is a source of the of the spots of light that you are seeing. Uh, so there's essentially multiple like vats of green liquid that just dot this entire room, and you show up kind of like in between them. Um, while the uh, while that process is happening, can mm -hmm. can Pontifex try to, I guess, observe what she is doing and try to like break it down magically? Yes, like, absolutely. To... Roll an arcana, yeah. an arcana check. Try to understand what is happening. Mm -hmm. Even for you, besides the that odd, like the sensation is odd, and you feel like you may do this a hundred times and you may never get used to it, and you feel like this tug just deep in your stomach, and it feels like you're being pulled from it rather than moving with your own feet. Um, and the moment when the world around you stabilizes, you you look down to see that you're you're back in the body that you're familiar with. The one that is scarred, the one that doesn't have any bright white equipment, the one that uh, only has a white ring right now around one of the fingers, and is otherwise the one you're very familiar with. Uh, hey, uh, Pontifex, you yes. Winter, I am going to uh, re-roll that with one of oh. my points. Okay. Not the inspiration. When you say one of your points, uh, what, what do you... Ah, mm -hmm. ah, 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 I, no, I understand, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, okay, are you keeping that? Uh, 
Yes. Uh, I think... Yeah, yeah. Okay. That one. Pontifex, in all of your years of study, who you have specialized in all branches of magic, which is part of what makes you, as a figure, so controversial in the academic war uh, world, uh, where you have dedicated yourself to both clerical magic and arcane. This? This? You've never seen it. But not just in a way where, like, something you've uh, studied and heard of, but it's, you know, beyond what a cleric or a wizard could do. This feels not necessarily like a new type, but like something that you right now cannot categorize because of how odd it is. She didn't cast a spell, so that already doesn't help to narrow it down. Uh, and the the nature of what she's doing is also just insane. The idea that elves can enter the sleep and the, and the dream world at will. And the fact that there is a dream world is also a whole other thing. You are in such uncharted territory that you're observing what is essentially a miracle. Uh, you, can, you can see why Aaron is so excited about this, and you might uh, be as well. But for now, uh, with that role, and by seeing this happen once, you mull it just in your head, what you have just witnessed. And ultimately, what you can gather are the, the, the conclusion that you can reach thus far is that this to you feels more like divine magic than arcane, which itself is a crazy thing to think of because elves cannot do divine magic at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and yet you're, from your first observation of this act, you feel like that's what you have just seen happen. Okay, yeah, he's, uh, he's keeping it to himself. He's not making like a show like dissecting what what he's seeing her do mm. he's just trying to figure it out this is literally like everything Aplorians know about magic and about the state of the world Viren is doing all the things that should be impossible every single one of them the professor is perhaps surprisingly not surprised <laughs> okay uh, got it he does look also, annoyed but that's <laughs> Brooke and like Pontifex also uh, both of you uh, I'm going to ask for a perception check you got it Okay. Um, stepping into what should be the world of uh, uh, the waking, you both feel odd. And it's a sensation that is very difficult to place. It's a new one for both of you. Uh, Brooke, this is different from when you normally move. Uh, th this new th th this ability of yours is already brand new. And this one, this feeling you have right now is different. It feels like there's something wrong with you. It's a kind of a sense of sickness. It's unpleasant, but um, not to a debilitating point. Okay. What would you like to do? Uh, are the other just scattered about? It's just uh, you and Brook and Virion. Oh, oh. so the fairy net. In the fairy net. Just chilling. He is chilling. Uh, at this point, uh, he has climbed onto your head. Uh, she puts him back onto her shoulder. Uh, mm. just, just down. down. But Okay. I already have neck pain like every single day. You don't need to make it worse. Okay. I 
apologize. Mm. Yeah, you're Will? you're not so bad when you're not trying to murder us. Mom didn't say that I should murder you. That was, uh, that was more my friend. Bitty Bitty gets very violent. He he likes to well liked to throw his big fists around, and whenever he wanted to to play fight with me, I would always lose. He was, I mean, I would not want to be the receiving on the receiving end of any of those blows. Mom had to put me back together many times. Looks like she, she did a, uh, a pretty good job. Couldn't really tell. Well, thank you. Broken Pontifex, what are you doing? <laughs> Well, now that we're out here and I don't see the others, I uh, feel less useful. But I suppose if you're going to scout deeper in, then uh, I suppose best we go now. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm not sure if you have any idea what these big pools of glowing green goo are, but that might be a place to start. I could maybe find out. I wasn't going to suggest anything, but since you offered. Uh, yeah, the professor's gonna walk, uh, I guess, close to one of these pools. Close enough, I guess. Um, and he, he's trying to keep uh, Virian and Marionette, or, or not Marionette, Nefarianette, uh, close uh, enough to be in the range, and he's gonna ritual cast Detect Magic. So okay. I'm trying to get it where there's a no. Standard and one of these ritual, like range. ten minutes. Yeah, just ritual. Yeah, yeah. He's not gonna do the, the fun. All right. Uh, you you approach the one of these holes, uh, and you're standing like near the edge, and you're you're holding up your staff, and you're Doing beginning your casting, thing, and like you pause, you look down into this green goo, and you see yourself. Not your own reflection, your body. Sleeping in this green liquid. Wait, found something, uh, and he's gonna immediately get away from that one <laughs> and look <laughs> into a different one. There's Brook. There's Pip. You find each of your companions, all the non-elves, their bodies fully enveloped in this green liquid. You all look sick and skinny. Um, okay, I, I am instead then going to use my feature to instantly cast Detect Magic. Uh, and I am now still interested in the pool, but I am even more interested in Brooke and myself uh, as we are right now. Because now that doesn't make any sense. Are we real or are we weird magic projections? What is happening? Am I a ghost? <laughs> are we dead? <laughs> In my world. <laughs> How have you stayed so sane, Virion? <laughs> you don't. Oh, God. <laughs> That's my secret. I'm never sane. <laughs> Yeah, what is uh, what am I getting now? Cause now that's even more freaky. Uh, I guess if I'm still close to the pool where my body is, uh, I'm now very interested in either is my body magical or am I myself magical and also broke. <laughs> so there, <laughs> there is yeah. a lot going on. A lot the lights. Yeah. Up. Uh, what do you see? when you look at yourself, the you that is in that pool, uh, there is magic upon that body. Uh, and 
you sense that it is uh, a kind that comes from Ledari. It's Ledarian magic, and thus it doesn't quite fit into the schools of magic that you are familiar with. But it gets close. Uh, you feel uh, the... There's a car, a car alarm going as, off right outside my window right now. <laughs> it's car alarm magic. <clears throat> the most annoying uh, kind. It comes close to abjuration, the kind that protects. Uh, it doesn't quite fit in, but that's the closest that you would be, the category that you would be able to assign to it. You feel there is a, a protective ward upon the pontifex that is in the pool. There is also another kind of magic that is much harder for you to categorize. Uh, it doesn't feel like the kind that would kill you. You don't sense that particular kind of hostility emanating from it. <clears throat> uh, but that's otherwise all you would be able to understand. Uh, you, yourself... And Brook, the Brook that is standing close to you, there is no magic upon either of you that is wasn't there before. Besides, like, your magic items and whatnot, there's mm. nothing upon you. But um, what you do notice is that you, you sense the magic items that are upon your person and also the magic items that are upon the Pontifex in the pool. Duplication glitch. And uh, lastly, yeah. um, nothing unusual about Virion herself. Uh, the ring is magical. Uh, you can see as much. Uh, and I'm going to say that the ring... The ring is definitely plural and magic. Uh, and we can... place it into the... Uh, let me just verify this real quick, but uh, I believe uh, that the ring's magic would fall under the conjuration school of magic. Mm. Neferinet ha is an animated doll. There is magic that literally keeps him alive. It's, again, Lidarian in nature, so it doesn't quite, like, the... It's not magic that you can't immediately tell. It's this spell, it's this effect, but you kind of get what's going on with him. It's not stuff you'd be able to reproduce, but it's an, it makes an animated doll. Hmm, okay. Uh, he is going to relay this in simpler terms, I guess. Uh, they're real, we're real. They, it's like we are in two places at the same time. Same said, this, is what I've been, this is what I've been going through for the last <laughs> while. Uh, also, your ring is uh, extraordinarily mundane magic in that I can understand it. What That's... you did with it is a, a different story, but the ring itself is. Honestly, that's actually kind of comforting. Well, what you did with it is incredibly annoying in that I don't understand it at all, but... Uh, I don't know. The uh, point is, that, I believe, is us in the pools, uh, but uh, somehow... It is not our physical selves that were moved to the dream world. It is like a different entity that you have managed to pull across. So this is messing with my understanding of consciousness. Welcome. This is what I've been dealing with. You understand why I've been a little frazzled with it. But the problem is that... I'm an academic, and my very first instinct is to wake up my other self and see what happens. I was going to suggest we do the same thing, but just for the sake of, you look, you look, you look fine. You look awful. <laughs> Thank you. Can you wake us up? Can you do uh, something? I'm going to try. All right. 
Uh, part of me is worried that if I wake my other self up, then now the me that is able to wake people up is going to go comatose. So maybe yeah. I should wake up. Wake me up. Rook? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you are the, the guinea pig instead. So that's why I'm here, right? Great. <laughs> your, your volunteering <laughs> is incredibly appreciated. Let's do it. I mean, uh, let's be real. If you wake up yourself, as you said, and something happens to you, you can't help anymore. You have all the right. magic. Uh, well, this is assuming I can even help at all. Uh, this is Ladarian magic, so I'm only throwing an approximation of what it is. But I don't know if I can dispel it or not, but we're going to find out. And yeah, I'm going to waddle on over to where Brooke is. Uh, uh -huh. Other Brooke, uh, or same, 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 but different, but still same Brooke. Uh, and cast Dispel Magic. On the... Okay. I guess it is the is the <clears throat> the pseudo abjuration is that on is that like an effect on the pool like on the water or the whatever the goop is or is it the an body. effect that's like placed on the body? Okay. The body. Perfect. That's what I'm so trying like, to dispel. Is whatever this all is. all that uh, you're targeting like the uh, yeah. that like alien effect that shouldn't be upon Brook. I'm trying to remove whatever magic thing is protecting him from dissolving in this pool mm -hmm. of acid. Okay, you cast Dispel Magic. Uh, the way you are positioned in order to get to the edge of this pool um, means that you turn your back to Virion and Farinet and the Brook that is awake with you. Uh, so Virion... <laughs> you're saying that. Virion, you see the brook that is standing next to you glance at you worriedly and disappearing. And Pontifex, the brook that is in the pool, opens his eyes. And brook, that's where you are right now. One moment you were standing next to Virion, the next you open your eyes and you can't breathe. You're like into this really thick green substance and it feels terrifying to a deep level that you can't quite understand. You can feel it in your lungs and you immediately try to, to cough it out, but it's just more that you inhale and you just, you throw your limbs around and you pull yourself out of this hole and you feel awful. Add it to your character sheet, four levels of exhaustion. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I, I, Yep. I'd say should have got him out of there, f there first. I wasn't going to touch the pool. I was going to. But yeah, I would have. You know what? It's, it's fine. Brooke, are, are you? Um, you look. I just feel like you're blaming me for it. That's no, all. No, 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 no. Just hi hindsight, hindsight. <laughs> um. <laughs> Brooke, are you get defensive? No, it's it's fine. Brooke, are you? You look. You've looked way better before. You look exhausted. <laughs> Four levels uh, of exhaustion. Four times over. <laughs> Disadvantage on ability checks, speed halved, disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws, and your hit point maximum is halved. Oh. You otherwise have the effects of a long rest, so like any any feature that you have used up, it it, it, re, it recharges. Oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would suggest that whatever you did to me. <laughs> Try to find a different way because I'm not feeling that well. Uh, but you are here. Uh, and then the professor is going to turn around and he is not there. <laughs> You're not there anymore. <laughs> so now it's even more annoying because was the was the other was that you? Do you remember us in the dream world? Ah, uh, you do, Brooke. What? I do. Everything. So now, that makes me wonder what what the other where the other one went, because there were two of you. The, the other one is not back in the dream world, but it, now is it just standing there? Presumably it is with our friends. Maybe you killed the other me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Okay, well, now I'm unsettled. 
shenanigans. But okay, so this is step one of faff about and find out. <laughs> uh, and that it was a success. <laughs> you look like a, like a poop, but you're here you're and you're conscious. I mean, maybe Murion is right and taking him, taking the others out of the pool first does something. Definitely do yourself last. <laughs> oh, I intend to. <laughs> If uh, at all. N -N just leans towards your ear and whispers, Should I tell them? Tell... I think Veer just instinctively whispers back, just... Tell them what? They seem really confused about... What's going on? It's really not that difficult. Yeah, I mean, from what I've gathered, like... Okay, so when they're asleep, their consciousness is elsewhere, and I could bring it mm -hmm. here, but they can't exist in the same place. So once they wake up here, then they can no longer also be... I can't sleep because I'm already dreaming, and they can't be a awake while they're already awake. Ah, good enough. Okay, so step two of Fat About <laughs> and Find Out. <laughs> Is now I, I'm annoyed that, that I don't understand consciousness anymore. So I'm going to see if other Pontifex is just a husk or if it is real. I are you are you going to try to kill this? <laughs> what? No, I'm going to read okay. it my read theirs. I'm going to read our mind. What? Okay. <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> no. Yes, Mirion. <laughs> Get into your d darkest urges. I thought it was a terrible idea, making sure it wasn't what no, you were planning on doing. Much to the chagrin of most of the people I've met in my life, I have no desire to kill myself. Thank you very much. I intend to last forever. <laughs> A slight <laughs> upon the world, is... some would say. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, live out Can the you, spite. Can like, take a few steps back, actually? I'm uncomfortable. Uh, sure, me and our, our friend here will go over, see if Brooke's okay. Right. Bro Brooke, Brooke is not okay. <laughs> Brooke is sitting down. <laughs> I'm going to use my, my feet to, uh, to cast Detect Thoughts for free and Detect Thoughts on my on, on the other me. Okay. Uh, you focus on uh, the Pontifex that is in the pool in front of you and uh, um, it seems like nothing is happening or like you're not picking up on anything, but there is something and so you just push further in and then you realize that what you're detecting from detecting from the pontifex in the pool is what you are already currently perceiving the pontifex that's sleeping is thinking and feeling the th the things that you are thinking and feeling you are seeing through your own eyes Okay, for a moment, I was concerned that other me has an intelligence of three or lower, and I was going to be offended, <laughs> but uh, this is fine. <laughs> okay, so so it, 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 there is there is one mind. That's good to know. There is only one Pontifex, the person. There is, there is just two of the meat. Okay, I'm going to faff about more. I'm gonna to try to mage hand the 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 uh, astrolabe from the other Pontifex out of the goop. Okay, um, it's exactly where you would normally carry it on your person, so you pull it out of the goop. I'm dual wielding astrolabes. <laughs> really? It's in your mage hand. Uh, yeah, I will pull yeah. the mage hand over and place it gingerly into my other hand. 
okay? The moment you place it into your other hand, the one you were holding previously is gone. What? No! Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna catch it out. <laughs> I was so close to bliss. <laughs> Wait a moment. I'm then going to mage hand and grab his staff. <laughs> you have the staff <laughs> in your mage and hand. And I'm going to keep holding it in the mage hand and then yeah. wave my other staff and wave them both around frantically. Uh, you have two currently. This is amazing. Okay. okay, maybe we can try to do this later. No, don't touch it. It'll go <laughs> away. <laughs> no, You're I'm enjoying it for the full minute that your mage hand lasts. I'm just I'm saying happy that... this one minute at a time. <laughs> uh, if, if you don't if you remember, um, Pip and Tekka are still on the other side of things, so we need to figure out what we're doing with them. Right, all right. I'm just making sure that I can't, you know, multiply my magical ability. That's all, because a sure would be useful, would it not? Yes, but they might be dying. Well... I mean, okay, that is the problem. Is that I I can't I can't do this very much more. Uh, I was maybe a little overzealous before in the, in the other world, and and am fairly low on magic, <laughs> and I can only do this a couple more times. I mean, Who do you want to save, Pontifex? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, do we, like, roll a dice? <laughs> I I only get to do one more, and then... I mean... Me, but I'm not entirely sure I want to do me yet. But wait, now you're saying the dying word is kind of spooky. I, I, I will, I'm not going to try to kill you, um, if that's what you're worried about. Okay, well, if they are dying, then which one of them would you like uh, to live? You only get to pick uh, one. <laughs> Who's your Trolley favorite? problem. And you don't have to uh, send me. I'm right here. Yeah. Uh, no, it wouldn't be you. Um... <laughs> you didn't have to say that either, but okay. <laughs> um, where, where does your magic come from? Is it from you or from Effort. you? And she'll like gesture down to the pond effects in the pool. Well, presumably it's coming from the me that is doing it and not the me that is in the pool. So, uh, for how much magic you're capable of doing in a day? A lot. I mean, you... Like, compared to the average wizard, a lot. Uh, all I'm saying is that you haven't been sleeping because you've been sleeping. But so I have multiplied my magic. Like, like the me, the the dream me, this me, what the me that the me that I am, is using all of the big magic, but the sleeping one is not doing the fireballs and such. Yes, uh, I think. Okay, so I use one magic. I have two, so I use one to get someone, uh, presumably your favorite, and then I use the other one on me and hope that other me is then able to do it again. So it sounds like the best shot you hear from the back. <laughs> Otherwise, I, I think I could do it again, uh, but I would need like an hour. If that doesn't work. I'll leave it up to you. You you know your magic better than I do. Uh, do we feel like we can wait an hour? Probably not. She'll be back probably before then and she'll realize that we're up to something. Okay, well then, who do we pick? Well, when oh, wait, so if Pip has his magic here too, can't Pip do this? Do I remember Pip dispelling anything or just curse stuff? I think he's dispelled something before. Uh. And honestly, Taka would want me to pick Pip. Do you want me to go see if I can go ask him? Oh. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> no, that's even more annoying that you can just do it as much as you want. I can... I mean, I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if there's limitation, but I can try. Okay, well, I, I guess you can go and then... Uh... Say less. Yeah. Okay. As soon as Pontifex like, okay, you can go, Viren closes her eyes and... <laughs> A, a little less clunkily this time, just takes that step forward and tries to shunt herself back into the dream world. All right. So meanwhile, <laughs> uh, Pip, Tekka, Arin, and Sunny. Uh, Pip has like moved almost entirely out of this section of the cave to have that like final talk with Bremble Suit, uh, and now she has turned around and she has gone to get that sulfur. Uh, so. Uh, Everyone but Pip have witnessed uh, Virion just straight up walk out of reality and drag Brooke and Pontifex with her. And Ferenet is also gone. Uh, so what would you guys like to do? Uh, you ever want to talk about your feelings, Tekka? <laughs> Is this the time and place for her? I'm sad. Sunny immediately <laughs> I... just holds up a hand and says, I am a good listener. <laughs> uh, I'm just... You know... Things really suck sometimes. Um... You know, I, I was trying to listen earlier, but I was also trying to play that game, and I feel like I missed some parts, but um, it helps to elaborate on what makes you feel like that. Um, I guess it just really stinks that, you know, I mean, I'm, I've, I'm only like 12 years old, and I feel like my life is already like gone to H-E, you know what. I mean, I mean, look at the professor. He said, he said like 400 years to screw up. And Virian, even longer. But isn't it good that you still have so much time left to fix things? Not as much as they do. I mean, okay, if I'm well, lucky, I've got a good um, 10 years left. Maybe 20? More like, how more much, like 70 how or so. Oh. Um, oh okay. okay, you're having a bit of existentialism because when you stand next to an elf, um, it does feel a bit unfair that our lives are not as long, and I get that. But that's still plenty of time to do everything you would ever want. I feel like it would get too boring otherwise. I mean, Arn, how do you do it? I, I'm only a bit over a century old. I, I, I'm, I'm not good with this. Yeah, well, listen to me and not to him. Lately, um, I've, I've been a little worried that, um, you know, say everything that we're doing goes perfectly and everything that we, everything that we've hoped we can do, we get to do and we get my parents back I haven't seen them in seven years what if things what if things aren't what I think they're gonna be Pip, uh, come here. Sit, sit down with me. Okay. Um. 
things for me right now are definitely not what I thought they were going to be. And in fact, I even spent some time being essentially dead. And I feel like the most important lesson that uh, people need to learn, and in your case it's good if you were to learn it early, it's acceptance. Some things won't be as you want them to be, and it's... You need to let them go. You won't always be with the people you want to be with. You won't always be where you want to be. Things won't always work out, but... There will also be plenty of good times. Good things to enjoy. And I think happiness is... Appreciating what you have. And accepting reality as it is. I'm sorry, you said you were 12? I... <laughs> don't know if I'm putting this um, in the right words. I've seen a lot of people die. Some of them were my best friends and it was awful. And, um... But, you know, we need to carry on. Yeah, I mean, well, but what else I mean, we you got? died and you got better. <laughs> yes. But that's an exception. Most people won't get that. Well, I if you die again, I become a werewolf for you. <laughs> I expect the same from anyone. That's very sweet, but don't do that. I I feel that out of everybody in this group, You are the one who needs to be protected. But... But Tekka would do it, and I want to be just like Tekka when I grow up. Pip. Time and time again. You have been told what you are. You are not me. You are Pip. You are a droplet falling from two leaves. And that is only you. Do not listen to her. You are special. You are the only Pip. Do you understand that? Yeah. And part of that is that the world goes out, goes on, outside of what we know, what we hope for, and what we expect. And that is frightening, but it is also a relief. Y yeah, what Tekka said, he, he put it way better than, than I did. I, I think you both did great. I just, when everything's, when everything's over and done with, I just, I, I hope that I get to find out what, what home is really like. Uh, I. Okay, I'm sorry, Arian steps up. Uh, I don't think this is going to help, but I think that you two are wrong. I'm sorry, <laughs> just... My best friend. Acceptance? No. I just let the world be the way it is? What, let my son stay at the bottom of the sea? Of course not. The... The war, everything, we all stepped up to change things. Uh, that's... That's the only thing that matters, to make things better at all costs. Are things better? In Plurna? <laughs> They're not good. But they are better. 
in theory, <clears throat> in theory, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, hmm. the gods that have wanted us dead for centuries have stopped demanding it. And an elf can walk across the continent without getting killed on sight. And we're exploring new worlds and finding out more about ourselves and... and Screw acceptance. I say, you want your parents back? Pip, that is possible. Even if they're dead, this is a world where you can make that happen. If that's what you want, if that's your dream, then chase it. You can do it. Okay. I think... I think that maybe... Maybe you're all right. In... In your own sort of way. I mean... We can change the things we can change. But... There are some things we just can't, right? I mean... There are some things we just don't have any control over. Like... Like, um... What don't we have control over? Nothing. Well, some things. Sunny, we have just found out that elves can sleep. This can go anywhere. Yeah, I was gonna say something like, we have no control uh, who lives and who dies, but we kind of do. I, I was gonna say, we have no control over the passage of time, but I just saw a doll make time stop. Maybe... You really can just do anything. When Virion and I were sitting in that cave, having lost sight of you for days, and we had nothing left to do, I... Virion believed that she could do something, and, and shit, she pulled it off. Even when we had nothing left to try, she tried something, and... I failed, but she did it. I say, believe in yourself, Pip. And yeah, things won't always go the way you want them to, but keep trying, keep reaching for it. I didn't do that. I, I grew complacent. Now Talix is gone. We'll get him back. I I think, well, yeah, I mean, we, we'll get him back. Of course we will. Haven't the others been gone for a while? Yeah, a while. And so is, so is Bramble Soot. I thought she was just going to get an ingredient. Right on cue. Is she, like, actually getting it from a <laughs> volcano or something? Right on cue. <laughs> I hear footsteps, and you all grow quiet, and the, the witch returns with uh, a small glass vial. And you hear this, like, the sound of something solid rattling in it. And she looks around, stopping a few feet away from you. And then she holds the vial close to her chest, and she says... Where are the others? Looks around. Oh. I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to roll.
Good liar, good liar. Nailed it. <clears throat> it just came so naturally to you. You didn't even have to think about the idea that you, you need to lie. Uh, you just speak with perfect, uh, just... It's so natural. Uh, Bramble so just raises an eyebrow and shakes her head in like... She, she mutters under her breath, I can't believe this. Um, and then she walks up to the table and places the vial on it. Um, Pip and Sunny sitting there, you, it's right in front of you. Uh, and uh, amazingly, there's a rock in this vial. And it's this very intense yellow color. Uh, and it has... Uh, it, 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 it's not a smooth surface, uh, not at all. It's very crystal-like. Uh, like there's crystals growing on the rock itself. Uh, the, the color is very intense and the piece of this rock is ultimately pretty small in it. It's perhaps like a centimeter or two wide. Uh, it rattles in there until it comes to a stop. <clears throat> and then Bramble Suit looks around, narrows her eyes goes back to where she left those books and sees that they're still there. And then does a bit of like a gesture, like a dismissive one, and says, You're free to join them then. All right. Well, hey, Bramblesoot, after talking to my friends, I've decided that I'm going to change my life, whether anybody likes it or not. And, um, you're going to be a part of it. We'll be in ah. touch. Where is this resolve coming from? You were doing so well earlier. I'm... I've got a lot of time. I had a lot of time left. I can make things better. She looks disgusted at this, like she's smelling a very foul odor. <laughs> uh, but she pushes just a very forced smile onto her lips and says, Good. Good for you. Do not involve me in whatever this is. Oh, and thanks for the game. I had fun. And I've had my fill. By the way, that whole thing about, like, actually eating us for real, that was just a joke, right? Uh, you can see that Arn <laughs> is squinting, just staring really hard at her. And her smile takes on a bit of a more genuine, uh, uh, more... more it, it looks definitely more real and uh, happy at this moment, and she says, Oh, I had to make sure that your uh, sleepless friends would also feel their own despair. A bit of a mean trick. Well, so how does this work? Are you just going to wake us up, or...? I was going to, but it seems like your friends are already working on it. And at this moment, Virion reappears. So close to the table that, like, you hear the sound of her bumping into it. Ow! I think there's, like, she reappears and just, like, very excitedly almost starts just, like, talking before she realizes what's going on in the situation, then notices that Bramble sits back and just sort of, like, clears her throat, stands up a little straighter. <clears throat> I <clears throat> think I'm getting the hang of this. Is everything all right? I'm, I missed something? I yeah, think not we are ready to go. Yep. Yeah. 
um... Leave. If... Now. If that's that, then I suppose, um, we'll be on our, our way. Um, and she just turns to Sunny and Tekka and Pip. Okay, so if I bring you back with me this way, I need to warn you, it's going to be very, very, um, existentially disturbing. I just want to prepare you for that. I don't see how this is any different from the last several months. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, 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 Virion, is this going to involve any clowns? So, so I'm pretty sure she's still toting the fairy net around with her, and I think she just looks over to the bear. I wasn't planning on it. How about you? I wasn't planning on it either. No clowns. No clowns. Yet. Yet? Pip. What do you mean, yet? Never, never. Sorry. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. Sunny Tekko, holds up a finger. <laughs> Sunny holds <laughs> up a finger and says, uh, w Then will it involve flying? Or falling from great heights? It, it probably will, actually. It's... That's We can't avoid that so much. It doesn't... Really, but it does feel a lot... It's hard to explain. I'll have my eyes closed. Yeah, I, probably for the best. It's a little weird. Aaron just brushes off his clothes and says, Come on, let's go. We'll gather up our party and... The very kind of limbers up a little bit. It's like, okay, I think, I think you'll go better this time. Not that it went poorly, but I'm getting the hang of it. Nefarinet, uh says a bit with, with a bit of a louder voice. All right, Mom, I'm going on a journey now. <laughs> and Bremble suits waves at the door. Oh. <gasps> Have fun, sweetie. Then the witch makes eye contact with you, Pip. Do you say anything? Um... I think Pip would just give a, a short little nod to her while maintaining eye contact. Okay. As if to say... We'll, we'll chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She, uh, on, on her part, she remains still. Do we hold hands? I mean, we did the last time. I don't know if it's necessary, but I it think didn't we have hurt. to. Okay, it's we'll not hands. for me. I just hold on to her hair. Yeah. Could you like sh show? I'm wearing a cape. You can hold on to that. I can also hold on to your ears. They're so would... easy to grasp. Yeah, I love yeah, that see. she actually refers to it as a cape. <laughs> it is a cape. <laughs> yeah, but no one calls it a cape when they're wearing it. No. <laughs> <laughs> she knows it's a cape. Listen, she said 500 years to get, be up on her fashion terminology, okay? <laughs> it's purely decadent. <laughs> um, so yeah, not, not the ears. There's... Honestly, a, a lot of earrings in there. It does hurt if you pull on them. Aww. Uh, does, does it have a... He doesn't have a hood, or...? Uh, actually... Well, her dream version does, for sure. Uh, actually, um, I'm looking at her other mini, and her other mini does not have a hood. She's got, like, a cowl and a cape. Okay. Um, since you're about to, to, to shift between dimensions, Nifirinet, it just sticks to, like, the top of your head. And uh, once you, you feel that tug on your stomach and you take a step forward away from the table this time, uh, and everybody else feels themselves being shifted elsewhere uh, and entering this other area of the cave that you don't recognize, uh, 
uh, that at that moment, uh, as Viren, you're back to the self you're you're used to. Uh, Nefernet will climb like into your your like scarf part of your outfit, uh, <laughs> and sort of like piggyback on the back of your neck in it, and seems to make himself comfortable in there. <laughs> um, Pip, Sunny, <coughs> Tekka, and Arin uh, arrive to find uh, uh, Brook looking. Like absolutely exhausted, sitting again, uh, <laughs> sitting again uh, on the ground against one of the walls, uh, looking barely conscious. Uh, Pontifex, have you been just like running experiments with your two staves <laughs> during this? Uh, yeah, for sure. Why not? While she's gone, it's like, all right, now let's see if I if I even need people for this. Let's see if I can duplicate stuff. I don't know. Are you saying like, can he <laughs> activate the the? staff with the mage hand and like see if you can make it deploy the shield spell that it has that sort of thing just messing around i i'd love to make you happy but this is a no i'm sorry yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> definitely yeah and then he like inevitably ends up like i don't know touching it or something and it poof poof well, like, that stuff remains. It's the one you were already holding and it's gone. So, like, you touch yeah, it like, and you it grab it for your hand other and the hand. Other one disappeared. Mm -hmm. And you, you hear footsteps, a group of people behind you. Um, and uh, the, the party is reunited once again. Okay, I'm going to warn the rest of you that you are sleeping in these pools of green sludge um so just be prepared because it seemed to be a little mind-boggling for the professor sunny gasps and runs to to check on brook <laughs> prepare yourself at what you're seeing because you will go through it in a bit but it, probably it's not entirely Certain. I, we we could try to like move them out of the goop before I remove the protection. The the magic I'm removing is like a protective spell of some sort. So maybe oh. if we get them out of the business first. Yeah, they definitely out of the business first. But uh, uh so uh, Pip, you can do it. Yes. Is that what I look like? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is like a sick version of you. He's like even more skinny. I'm already really skinny. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, luckily the rest of me is underneath all of those robes and armor and coat. Can I can I do what? What were you asking? Uh, you you can dispel magic. Yes, uh, very asked you about this, right? That's like the um... whole point. I mean, oh. I, some kinds of magic, like the, the cursy, cursy bad kind. Okay, but you can't dispel like regular magic. Um, I guess not. All right. Well, then we're back to uh, the thing before. Uh, I only have two dispels left, and Virian is hypothesizing that I'm using Dream Pontifex magic, and that the Sleepy Pontifex might still have magic. But we don't know, and I have enough in the reserves to do two dispels, one of which is going to be me to test the hypothesis, but I prefer to go last. So, which of you wishes to disappear from existence and then <laughs> reappear uh, from uh, the perspective Sorry. of the sickly version of you that is suspended in goop? I don't all volunteer at once. I will do it. Fine. Great. Yeah, let's uh, first step. Let's get him out of that. Right. Sure. <laughs> it's just the caves doing. <laughs> and the magic <laughs> that is happening is a Ladarian in nature, so it is either. A natural occurrence, and that when we all passed out on the floor, and then Virian and uh, Aaron that joined us, our unconscious corpses crawled into these pits, or it was the witch. 
Uh, it was the witch. She definitely took you. I, we tried to stop her, but she had way too many toys. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. So we dig our... out sick tech first, and then uh, I do the thing. And if it's not as violent, then good news for the rest of you. And me. Uh... I have a question. If if these are our bodies from before we did all the things we did in the dream world, then all the ingredients that I got in the dream world, will they disappear with me? Can I like it, place them on the ground or what? It seems that there is a duplicate of the items, but when me, the current Pontifex, presumably dream Pontifex, uh, physically interacted with the belongings of other pontifex, we will call waking pontifex, uh, it would uh, the waking one would remain and the dream equivalent, the one I already had would <laughs> disappear, presumably sent back, so Do you want to see if I can take them? E e yeah Have these these um ember glow wisps and this rock we'll try taking one of them to see if they disappear when virion touches them you picking up these items does not make them go away There you go. So I, I assume only one can exist at a time, but if these ingredients don't uh, overlap, then perhaps it is fine. Okay. But I also don't know. Maybe it, maybe they disappeared because I am not the waking Pontifex. Uh, whenever I awoke Brooke, the dream Brooke, uh, Screamed in agony and then faded into oblivion with everything <laughs> he had. So I don't know. Maybe if I wake up at the waking pip, maybe the dreaming pip will also explode along with everything that he has. Teacher, oh, how he stop. screamed! I'm, I'm there was no screaming agony. That was the waking brook. That one was an agony. There was so much misery. No more words. Okay, get well, get over with. <laughs> I seem to be in yeah. You might want to make a better impression if you want to stick around. But I'm doing my best impression. I mean, misery, not our favorite thing. Debatable. What? Why? Well, see, what, we what get nothing What else is there? We'll talk later. I'm messing with you. I understand how people work. Of course you hate it. You don't eat it. Speaking of eating misery, can I have some? No. Well, you're not using it. <laughs> 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 it's just there. Next time I'm feeling miserable, I will let you know. Thank you. I'll also let you know when I get hungry. <laughs> I did not expect you guys to take the fair right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I, I, I feel him. like I feel like Squeak might get <laughs> jealous if there's like a new evil mascot in the party. <laughs> uh, First the Squeak cat, and now so this. Jealous. Squeak is gone. We have a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I was gone for three days, and you replaced me already. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to see how long it takes for Seraphis to tear it apart. It's gonna. <laughs> Squeak's gonna come back with like a martini and an umbrella and <laughs> <laughs> sunglasses. He was having such a good time. The fairy hat does canonically want to stab Seraphis though, so. Yeah. <laughs> there is that. That's okay. That's it's okay. okay. Seraphis, I think, respects that. Alright, let's wake <laughs> no! up our. <laughs> Seraphis would like to see them try. As most cats do, as they taunt everything. Ah, let us crawl out of the goo, my friends. Well, let, let's <laughs> scoop 
tech her out first. And then if it is still miserable, then, you know. All right, who's getting the uh, sleep sleeping tech out? They all know. I got it. If yeah. we'll use I'm getting telekinesis to help. I do have to ask if Viren is touching the goo. You know she is. I feel like she, she has to. Because yeah. the yeah, the best way to like pick him up is to go like from the back and then you know pull from under like his armpits. Uh -huh. Oh god, <laughs> you put down the fan. <laughs> Right into the good. Gone forever. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, uh. Why is it snapping? I thought I turned it off. Yeah. He, he can just hang out over here. It's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Sid. Yeah? I would like you to describe something that uh, brings Tekka misery. Uh, it could be something that he's afraid of, or a bad experience he's had one time, like the the crab one, for example. And it doesn't have Poorly to be like the worst names. possible example. <laughs> it just needs to be an example. Hmm. The moment that Virion touches the goo, she would feel that. Ah, oh, your misery. Gosh, that's a Good question. I can't really come up with anything right now. I'm sorry. Uh, hmm. Go back to the crabs. No, there's probably <laughs> something else. Uh oh, oh, I have it. Okay. Um. So at Tekka, when he was a kid, uh. He had this fishing rod, but then he was trying to learn this like new throwing technique and just ended up like throwing the fishing rod out at sea. And it just kept like drifting out and away. And like the misery he felt of losing that fishing rod, I think that is what Miriam is feeling Aww. right now. Oh, like, was a fishing rod like, like a... was it meaningful to him? Yeah, it was like it was made by his dad, and like he really took care of it and had like used it every day. And I think it's like that dread of having to like return to your parents and like let them know that they mm -hmm. lost something really valuable. Aww. That's Aww. really sad. I, well, I went through something similar in that uh, Pontifex also lost something to the sea and then had to explain it to the parents, but that something was uh, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, <laughs> similar. You know, the adult version of losing your yeah, fishing yeah, yeah. rod. Yeah, the adult version of Alex's fishing rod and Karen's um, <laughs> uh, Okay, well, I got Lirion. something out of it. I got a fish woman. Is <laughs> that? <laughs> In exchange. Arin, I traded your son for this lady that I don't like. <laughs> 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 Virion, you reach both of your hands into this this goo. Uh, and you, you're wearing gloves, but you feel it just cling to you, and it feels oddly heavy. Uh, you put your arms a bit further in until it's it, this stuff is up to your elbows, and you finally grab onto Tech and begin to, to pull him out. And it, it takes some effort, but eventually he slides out. But throughout all this, you, you feel this sense of loss almost like grief not really to that level but this is like the first it feels like a childhood's idea of grief the first like this is a pain that at the time it was some of the worst attack i had felt just this sense of loss and embarrassment and this uh, the anxiety that comes with having to face the consequences of that mistake uh you get more the feelings rather than the context so you don't understand exactly where the feelings come from and why you're feeling them besides the fact that you touch the goo and now you feel kind of miserable um mm. and so you just try to be fast until Tekka is out uh, the, the sleeping Tekka is out of the pool uh, and you're just trying to dry yourself off, and the more of this goo that comes off of you, and the more that, that sense of loss uh, leaves you.
since you had to put an Etherianet down to do this, uh, at this moment you would see him like reach with one of his paws into the goo. And being being a little doll, uh, it gets absorbed into into its fabric, and then he puts a paw into his mouth and begins to suck. Yeah, I'm sure that can't be good for you. But it's delicious. You know, so is candy, but if you eat nothing but that... You still have a good time. You're not my real mom. No, but if you want to stick with us, you're going to have to listen to me. Mm. He waddles over next to you. <laughs> Take us out of the pool, what now? Uh, yeah. Okay, I guess brace yourself. Like, are you just looking at yourself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so odd. It's not your own reflection. It doesn't move when you do. Uh, and it's definitely a more rough version of you who looks like uh, he hasn't eaten in a long time. And despite being handled uh, the way he has, he's, he's not waking up. There's think... two of you and it's just weird in that existential kind of way. I think, like, Tekka uh, laying there now, like, outside this tub of goo. Uh, one thing Tekka does is, like, he's trying to mimic the way this other Tekka is laying down, as if he's, like, looking at his own reflection in the water. Like, just, like, trying to process this in a way. <laughs> this other version of him. But, yeah. You know, you might actually be onto something. It might be less disorienting if you're in a similar position. Hmm. Fine. And uh, yeah, I think Tekka will lay down on this ice. Mm -hmm. You try to arrange your limbs uh, to mimic uh, that body as much as you can. And uh, let's put. And Pontifex is gonna boop the the unconscious one on the forehead with his staff and <laughs> dispel it. Boop. Yeah, just bury him. You open your eyes and you feel awful. Like the the way that you feel when uh when you're sick and you oversleep, but and you wake up still lacking energy entirely. And you haven't been able to eat in a while and you feel like you can't even get up to make food. It's that kind of just feeling miserable and weak and tired beyond description. That was a good try, but you also have four points of exhaustion. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the party. How do you feel? I think you can just see, like, Tekka trying to, like, clutch his fist, like, his hands. <laughs> And not even be able to, like, grasp enough strength to do that. Oh, no. So I was going to offer to help you stand, but I, th I think you're good laying down for now. And I think you might even see, like, the fur is getting, like, longer and more tufty for some reason. Yeah. You don't get much of a response. I think it's Mostly just like groans and like a, a faint look at you, Pip. So, um, hear me out. What if this version of me never woke up and I just kept being this one? Uh, Varian believes that uh, these, uh, for lack of a better word, cadavers are uh, going to die. Would I continue? I don't know, but uh, I don't intend to find out for me, but I also don't feel like I have the parental right to make a decision for you. <laughs> I mean, the best I can explain it and understand it is that you, as you are right now, only exist because you, as you are in that pool, are asleep. If you, as you are in that pool, 
stops being asleep for whatever reason. The you that you are now stops being you. Mm. Oh. You get back here right now. <laughs> it also comes. <laughs> you, 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 you can. I wasn't talking this to you, Pip, but this is fine. Let's not let's not drink it. leash on you party mom <laughs> already got one <laughs> not, not you the bear <laughs> oh all right so so what now well Can so we wake i feel like this one more time and then we have to uh, hope that waking pontifex has magic because sleep dreaming pontifex this pontifex is out of magic <laughs> okay here, I'll, right. I'll help you out. I use my brain! This delicate. Uh, um, isn't that too heavy for you? Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I am a lithe flower. <laughs> There's only so All much a mage hand can do. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I know you can, like, shove creatures of any size. It makes no sense. It is a creature. <laughs> but, Still. But. No. Oh. <laughs> Knocking yeah, someone back is different. To the, the requires. No. It lets me pull instead of push, too. Still. <laughs> still. Oh, you're, no. you're, tilting, you're tilting cows, which is different. I'm not the cow. <laughs> Whatever, anyway. somebody help me get him out. <laughs> <laughs> please fish me out of the pool. Varian will first pick up Nefarianet. Just pick him up. Hey, you. Like, hello. Hello. Um, we're going over here now. Um, I need you to stay right where I can see you. And she'll put him back down and get Pontifex out of the pool. <laughs> or try okay. to. He's heavy. All right. Uh, Matt, <laughs> same good. question for you. Uh, is that your uh, answer? Uh, no, uh, you uh, <laughs> immediately recall uh, a feeling of dread of coming in second place. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute existential crushing dread uh and and you 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 experience feelings of never being enough oh and also you dislike yourself now for some reason specifically <laughs> you <laughs> not like a self-loathing but like a loathing directed at virian and that just happens to be you mm -hmm. crazy if you're you consider you for a moment to just leave in Pontifex in the pool. <laughs> uh, Eyes are gone. And eventually, <laughs> he is pulled out. So. Oh, well. Let's assume that they, I am still functional afterwards because we have to fish out the other two. What the? Here we go. Then I'll point my staff from across the room and dispel upon myself. <clears throat> uh, you are also back into your own body, Pontifex. <laughs> as, I've, <laughs> as I've said to the others, uh, you have the benefits of a long rest, but also for levels of exhaustion, which does mean, luckily for you, that your spells are back. Hey. And my mind reading and mm -hmm. everything else. Mm -hmm. And, and to clarify, it's less that you long rested and more that this is the you that just walked into the cave. You hadn't spent your spells and your features at that moment. Great. Whoa. Uh, 
Yep. He's just gonna not sit up. He's just gonna lay on the ground and like roll over onto his side. So you can fish them out. I'll, <laughs> I'll bring them to you. It is fine. It is long range. <laughs> the the boop was a flourish. At pass. Pat, pat. Um, Arin will begin to assist uh, uh, Viren with uh, removing the other two from the pool. Um, is it going to be Sunny or Pip next? Sunny. <laughs> Sunny? Is that what you said? She needs, yeah, she needs okay. more help getting out. <laughs> Hip tiny. <laughs> okay. So when Arin yeah. and Viren move in, uh, Pip, you're helping with your telekinesis a little bit. So you're like holding your head up. <clears throat> um, Viren and Arin are both struck with this deep sense of loneliness. Of being in the world, but no longer being part of the world. Seeing everyone else, but not being seen. It feels like there could be... If if there could be something worse than that, than death, then this has to be it. And then you pull her out. The good thing Virian doesn't sleep because she would not be sleeping after all this. <laughs> uh, the same happens. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Brook, you were talking to Sunny, and then Sunny disappears mid sentence. Well. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> good talk. <laughs> and then, like a few moments later, she's like j crawling across the ground, uh, making her way back to you. And, and she says, "As I was saying." And oh god! <laughs> oh god! Where are you going? <laughs> what were you saying? What were you Wee! saying? <laughs> <laughs> and this is a strange filter. Why is this so difficult? Uh, and lastly, Pip. Austin. Um, yeah. Something that makes a Pip miserable. Um, I'd say that you would feel the sensation of being like a mouse surrounded by cats. Feeling so incredibly small in a world where everything is far bigger and scarier than you and you feel so claustrophobic and scared all the time and uh, lastly Pip is woken up <gasps> Oh, oh no. So you uh, just lay there for as long as you need. I don't think we're going anywhere very quickly anytime soon. Oh, it's a good thing you're an elf. <laughs> it's a good you thing don't have to worry. We will watch over you while you rest. I didn't mean for that to sound evil. I have to work on my delivery. You know, I used to have a, a bear that looked kind of like you when I was younger. A long time ago. And whatever happened to it? It was uh, lost. Some points. You feel Nefirinet's grip onto your shoulders, yeah. just very tight. And he says, Don't you dare lose me, too. 
I wouldn't dream of it. And then he nestles in into mm. your scarf. Uh, and uh, for the sake of just ending the session on time, uh, you guys can... H how long do you plan to rest up in the cave? Like, just get out and then sleep? Or, like, stay and recover and then leave? Are we pressing deeper in as per pit? What? We're leaving. <laughs> okay. I think if we stay, we'll die. <laughs> okay. It takes just all the strength that it feels like you do not, do not have just to stand up. Uh, Viren and Aaron can take turns just helping you, like, support you. Um, each of you, one at a time. Um, Nefarinat points you uh, towards the exit. Um, he promises up and down and that's the quickest path out of the cave. Uh, do, you, do you follow his directions? Wait. Is he, is he, is he lying? Inside Wait. check? Yes, Austin? Would you call this ooze, perchance? Ha ha ha. Um, not quite. It's very thick, but not ooze-like. Tarsus. Foiled again by <laughs> fake ooze. <laughs> Already got one ingredient today. Don't, don't push it. <laughs> um, I think, yeah. I think Fear is like, well, I guess follow the bear. Um, he tells you which way to go, and then he shows you a couple of secret passageways uh, that are either hidden by the reflection of the ice itself, or just straight up, like, he, t he tells you to, to put your weight on a stalagmite, and when you do, there is uh, a hidden door that opens up. And after, like, a few of these twists, you're out of the cave in, like, 30 minutes. And the, the fresh air feels so nice you breathe it in and then each of you you just everyone but the elves feel like you could just pass out right there and then but you put some distance between yourselves and the cave um into you have to go a certain a bit of a of a way to go past the burnt down forest to get where there's actually still trees standing and by the and by the time you finally have some like actual physical cover, something standing between you and uh, the broken rib mountain, you finally sit down and you are free. You have escaped misery's womb, and you're still alive. And that's where we'll end the session. Whoa. Nice. Nice. GG. GG. Unless I have escaped the womb for the second time. <laughs> <laughs> I will never go back. <laughs> wow. The, the bear stays with me. <laughs> I can't believe it. The bear is uh, Joy, I will... The bear in it. I, I will give you um, his stat block. Nice. Um... <laughs> I can fix him. Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> I love that you got totally rid great. of, like, your recurring uh, uh, villain from, like, so long ago, and you just traded him for a new one. But you're, you're taking <laughs> this one. We well, can keep I an like eye on this one. one now. This one's fine. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm sure this will indeed be fine. Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta, well, gotta collect all of your NPCs. Make you, <laughs> make you have to play like ten different characters traveling with us. <laughs> you know, Matas, Arin, um, Bruca and, and Bruca Sunny. Sunny, and now Jory gets uh, the the talking doll. Pip already has yeah. Squeak, got, but who knows? We've got we could... Duchess. Uh huh. Sid is next. We've got Orm. <laughs> <laughs> gotta catch them all. <laughs> In all the right. whole training sessions, Tekka has with Brooke and Ollie. Brooke has been slowly training Ollie to be an assassin warrior. <laughs> so you can have the Ollie's dead blocks as your companion. I teach Ollie, Ollie, Ollie to be. Rebels and Rogue. 
teach Ollie to be like the pangolins that uh, that uh, Pip can summon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just as deadly. <laughs> okay. Well, I wish you a lovely rest of your evening. Uh, I'm happy we could have everybody here today, and I'll yeah. see you next week, all of you. Yeah. yeah. Yay! All right then. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.